This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, hey, why the fuck not? It's Hellboy 2019. I'm Andrew Jupin. I'm disinterested David Harbour, Stephen Zadak. <laughs> Chris Cabin. I'm Eric Siska. And we hate movies. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of what's going to be a great year, 2020. Yeah, uh, we said <laughs> that we said that once and it never <laughs> happened. Yes, so I will mad. keep cursing us. <laughs> this is Hellboy from 2019, directed by Neil Marshall. And of course, this kicks off our uh, worst of the previous year month. All this month, we will be talking about fucking dog shit yeah. that came out last year. Yeah, Except well, for one thing for We Love Movies on the Patreon. We want to recommend that up front or yeah, announce we'll, that we'll, up front. We'll say it right now. Yeah, We're going to be doing Once Upon a Time in Hollywood on yes. the Patreon. Our first Tarantino joint. Mm -hmm. And we will be talking about his foot fetish because it's kind of hard not to. Right. And that's <laughs> going to be at the $5 level on our Patreon. Patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. And by the way, I'm going to go off script a little bit. Oh, well, well, hold on. Oh, fuck. Fuck. You oh, might have fuck. noticed these lists floating around oh, this no. Past no. month of the best podcast. Da, 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 da. You'll notice uh, some absences there. And I just want to say, just follow us on Twitter, you know, because I feel like that visibility matters at sure. WHM Podcast. Sure, on what Twitter. the hey? Sure. And you know what? Follow our individual accounts as well. They are linked on that main Twitter account. It's important, Chris. You're looking at me like that, but it's important. I'm looking at you normally. <laughs> yeah, well, it's usually well, I don't like that. Slight disdain. I just was <laughs> just, just the slightest bit of. But disdain. that's like pretty want, normal. I'm I, I just want my soapbox back. <laughs> It's 2020, Chris. We got to get out the vote. And by that, I mean <laughs> yes. about lifting up this podcast. <laughs> uh, so speaking of things that didn't really make a splash culturally. Who uh, asked for this? Can what I ask that fuck? question? Well, Hellboy, the first two movies everyone enjoyed. People, yes. Uh, more or less. I don't know if they entirely hold up now. I feel like the creature yeah. effects in the first one, while the design is good, the CGI might not hold no, up. Yeah. It's all good. I think both of them. Okay. I, wa I we watched both. Oh, for you did. This. Yeah. For this, I did not. I did <laughs> the not. Fucking die. The second one is an absolutely great movie. The capital G. I think that's an awesome movie, front to back. I have. So here's my thing with Hellboy. Okay. Uh, I saw the first one. That was like what ought four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something like that, maybe. And it was like whatever. I thought it was okay. Whatever. Yeah. Second one, I was brutally hung over mm. and it was the second half of a sneaking into the theater double feature and i was for whatever reason greatly paranoid that we were going to get kicked out and that's the only time i've seen that movie so i, I really got to go back and check them out i did the second one's a great movie the first second, one's fun it's a lot of fun there's elves like elves in that that dark one, right? elves right yeah. those Santa oh, like thor 2 yeah they both work for santa right <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes uh Guillermo del Toro, both of them? Yes. Directed both of them? Yes, he did. Uh -huh. And okay. I mean, like, so, and that, and that, and this was going to be Hellboy 3, but, um, like, apparently del Toro wanted as much control as he had in the past two. Mike McNola and the rest of the studio, Mike McNola is the guy who created Hellboy, yeah. the comic book artist, um, wanted a little more control. There's some, some beef there, and they're like, well, fuck it, we'll do it without you. And now we got <laughs> the, this. The whole, like, oh, you piece of shit, great director. Dude, trying yeah. to come in and make a movie based on me. I'm Especially Guillermo fucking yes, Del Toro, exactly. well, this, dude. Who's my top pick to make We Hate Movies the movie. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, oh, uh, the character designs. I'm drawing all of the We Hate Movies, boy. Oh, they're, they're so, oh man, we're going to need a oh, lot of prosthetics. This one is so gross, he has to live in tank. <laughs> can live Doug in tank. Jones cannot work on this movie. It it's cannot be, physically impossible. It cannot be four pigs. <laughs> I, it has to only be one or two pigs. A hog, maybe. Some breaking news tonight. I'm sorry to inform you all that beloved actor Doug Jones passed away trying to gain weight for a role. <laughs> to play all four members he of the movie. And death. then uh, Sally Hawkins, um, she uh, uh, finger herself in the bathtub. Uh, think about the We Hate Movies. Yeah, but where where them eggs, dude? <laughs> where them eggs? Oh, that's a great question. You know, this movie could have used some eggs. Definitely. This movie could have used some anything. I will say up front, 
I've seen this movie twice now. Twice? Well, I watched it oh, yeah. once, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, months ago. And, you know, for the show and whatnot. Sure. Uh, I think David Harbour is a good choice. If you have to recast Ron Perlman, mm-hmm. I think he's he's doing his fucking damnedest in this movie. However, everything else surrounding this movie is fucking terrible. He, I, I, I agree. I, I, I like David Harbour in general. I'm excited to see him do that Black Widow movie. I kind of want to see him do more stuff. I'd like, mm-hmm. I'd love to see him do a not superhero movie if, if that's even if that's legal right. these well, days. Asking too much <laughs> there, Stephen. He was if in Suicide legal. Squad. Yes, as a like a CIA guy or yeah, something. Yeah, like oh, five I seconds. fucking forgot about yeah. that. Is he going to be in this James Goon picture? Oh, I have question. no idea. Oh, uh, I thought, oh, sorry. I should the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck? Like, what the flying well, fuck? Well, I with know that? Pete Davidson's going to be in it, so I'm excited. Yeah. That's great. Mm. That's great. Because you know what? You know what brings me out to the fucking mm-hmm. theater? Pete Davidson. You know what? I, I heard that he's going to have everyone in the audience sign an NDA for a million dollars. <laughs> he's going to take your phone when you go him. in there. What? What is happening? Oh, what? you didn't hear about this? No, you didn't hear. Oh, you hear about this, folks? You fuck, folks, folks, folks. You hear about this? <laughs> okay, so Pete Davidson is yeah. doing stand-up shows. He's requiring everyone not only to surrender their cell phone. By the way, apologies to the people who went to our show at the Hollywood Improv. We didn't know that was happening, but he's requiring people to surrender their cell phones and sign an NDA that you will have to pay a million dollars if you violate it and talk about his set. <laughs> hey man, no problem from me. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of an insider <laughs> with like some guy from Nebraska, like an insider type story <laughs> yeah, about oh, yeah. breaking the NDA for Pete Davidson <laughs> concert. Oh no, my <laughs> sick bit about fucking Kate Beckinsale <laughs> leaked on the internet. <laughs> I wish like Clint- what is she blind? <laughs> Al, pa- Al Pacino <laughs> screaming in the newsroom. <laughs> <laughs> is it news? No, it is not. I will report on Pete Davidson's jizz joke. You know why? Because I'm Mike fucking Wallace. That's why. <laughs> you know, it'd be great if, like, fucking, like, Clint Eastwood started aging backwards so he could make <laughs> movies about, like, the dude that was railroaded by the Pete Davidson <laughs> NDA process. Wait, what? Wait, what? There is an N- judge, what? <laughs> there is an NDA in the... Improv or Laugh Factory or Chuckle Hut or whatever the fuck. Definitely a Chuckle Hut. I uh, David Harbour. Is that he what is not about? in the next Suicide Squad movie, but I, oh. I do like him. I think he's got the problem with him. I think in this movie is he's got, and it's it's a choice. I just think it's kind of grating to watch for two hours. It's a petulance and an annoyance with the events going on where that, I'm like, you know what, Hellboy? If you don't want to be here, neither do I. Yeah, but that, it's, a, it's a Whedon-y, like, self-referential thing and, yes. like, modern time. Like, the Uber line. The Uber line's tough. Is, I mean, uh, hey, dude, listen, there's not, a, there's not a fucking writing credit attributed to David no, Arbor, sure. okay? Marfucker was hired to say that. Yes. yes, abhorrent Uber joke. Oh no, I'm saying the script is the major problem. Of course, here, yeah, I think for sure. on top of everything else, it's dog shit. It is fucking Hellboy shit. So yeah, the, the second one ends with um, you find out that what's her face is pregnant. So it's like it's even done a cliffhanger for Hellboy heads like myself. Oh, I was, I've always been like, uh, what's her face? Uh, um, Salma Blair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever her character's name is, Pyro Lady. Um, Anna, she, I think. Or no, no, no. That's that's, that's Sasha a new Lane's one. character. But she's pregnant, and it's like, oh man, what's gonna happen? And Guillermo was like, I've got the story for everyone, and everyone's like, no <laughs> fucking way, Guillermo. Here's this like very. Just bland, grayish remake where we start. He's going to Mexico. Is what's going on? Well, this is like to me. This feels most like the start of like a Men in Black movie. Almost yes. like yeah. it's a cold open that doesn't really have a ton to do with the movie itself. I'm sorry, I forgot about Ian McShane's "Welcome to Fucking Hellboy," <laughs> and we're in the fucking mid the Dark, the dark ages. ages. Five five seventeen A.D. Better known as the Dark Ages. Here's a here's a quick and for fucking good reason. Yeah, I'm oh, Ian McShane. Yes. You fucking. Cocksucker. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say it. That's what he that's what that's his catchphrase. It sure is. Now, here's the thing. And this is a pro tip to all the aspiring writers out there. Sure. And maybe some of you motherfuckers that have writing deals already and have shit produced. If you're doing something that doesn't explicitly involve King Arthur and the fucking Knights of the Round Table, leave it out of your movie, dude. This is 
dog shit. What a dog well, shit we decision. Need, we need a prophecy so that the main character is the main character. Dude, we are saying Excalibur no less than ten times in this movie. I, I say purge all King Arthur, period. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm done uh, with no it. Full, yeah. No focus on him whatsoever. It's you should, always poison. You should dismember King Arthur and scatter him across <laughs> the land, <laughs> never wow. to be found again. Man, it is just... You're watching... And I'm looking at you, Transformers, you motherfuck. Like, <laughs> I'm just watching this movie. I'm like... The fuck did they just say? I forgot did about that. Did I just that. hear Merlin uttered well, in this Hellboy movie? And the Guy Ritchie fucking King Arthur, also known as the movie that evaporated. <laughs> I, I will, you cannot convince me that movie actually came Dude, out. that movie was nice an try. ice cube on a hot sidewalk, <laughs> man. Holy shit. Now I want to see it. I never watched it, but Don't I you see dare. It. That was don't that would, you do it. I'm going to do it to upset you, to fulfill the prophecy. <laughs> I think that disappeared when Thanos snapped his fingers. It's like, oh, wait, that movie never came out. Uh, yeah, it's, it's King Arthur times. Mila Jovovich is this evil witch of some the, sort. Nimue? Nimue, sure. The Nimue. evil Vivian. Yeah. <laughs> Vivian, get in here! <laughs> uh, my- She's the queen of blood, by the way. Nice. Yeah, anyone yes. gives a fuck. Her yeah. witch sister is like, Turned her in. They they fucking turned state's evidence right. on her. And Denied her. In that whole Ian McShane thing, it was like, oh, monsters used to rule over England, and then King. But it's like just what like else fucking is new? Transformers used to. Yes, yes, and there's still <laughs> monsters ruling over England today. <laughs> Nothing true. changes, I, guys. No, <laughs> one one just looks like an uglier version of you. <laughs> I ordered. <Wow. laughs> I said uglier. <laughs> I ordered. I could run England, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I will say Boris Johnson looks a lot closer to the fucking pig character. Oh that yes, he that uh, uh, Stephen Graham is playing that Eric. That's. A, I, I agree. Wow, it's very kind of you. Yeah, then you're welcome. <laughs> I said more like it. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said a guy that looks like you. He said also uh, that, that he guy looks that like looks he like also looks, looks like, like a pig. pig person. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it! I was trying to be nice. See what uh, happens when you try to smooth things over. Remember Steve? at the top of the show, I said to check out our Twitter pages. You can see how ugly I am there. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, I mean this. This is ridiculous. It's, it's Merlin, dumb. come on. Well, it's folks. the cursing too. It, it, and that's the thing. This is an R-rated movie and they will swear up and down. It's cuz of the violence. No, it's cuz the the fucking swearing in this movie which I just I guess. was no, but I was flabbergasted by all the fucks floating there around are, in this there's film. There's a bunch of violence towards the end. I yes. feel like they could have spread it out better yes. cuz they do really gory violence at the end but not no, There yeah, is some I cool mean, shots here, Chris Cabin of the shooting the plague out of her fingers yeah. and shit, like making yeah. people eat bees or whatever the fuck. They reminded me of a previous episode, piece of shit, Last Witch Hunter. Yeah, very similar, oh, like right. yeah. dark witch horse shit that I don't need. I just don't care, and that's why. Also, I'm sorry. I know people dig on that game and whatnot. I don't give a fuck about this Netflix Witcher thing that's coming Ooh, out. I might I'm give it a excited. chance. Really? Yeah, Eric yeah. and I might give okay, it a chance. Okay, so we're recording this a little in advance, so it's already yeah, come out. This is out. before Christmas. Yes. I read the first <laughs> Witcher novel. Oh, it's a book? I thought it was a video game. It was a it was a book that then that was adapted to a video game because it's Polish and they're like, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, that. video game? I, that's not why I don't have to do a movie. It's uh, Polish. Did you know that things aren't actually published in Poland? <laughs> you just stamp it with your name. Wait, wait, wait. The book was from Poland or Polish the, people made the video game? The book was from Poland yes. and then they made it into that video game series which took the world by storm. It did. Yes. I tried to play it briefly and I did. I'm not good. Uh huh. What kind uh, of what kind of style game is it? You know, kind of like hack them and slash them. But is it like, like, it's like third a, person, first person, third, RPG? Third, it's a third, third person. It's fighting. open world, whatever yeah, the fuck. Like a Game of Thrones yes. type vibe. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like my t- wife killing uh, loves and taming it. beasts and stuff. Yeah. The, uh-huh. the book was all right. There's, I you know, whenever a fantasy, I love I love fantasy, but whenever you start talking about elves a lot, I'm just like. Oh God! <laughs> oh, take that, oh, elves! I, 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 then I, I struggle you, through it, but it did. The, the book did have good moments. Steer clear of Neil Gaiman. That guy loves some dark elves. I can't even fuck with these elves. You anymore. know what, dude? It's really easy to steer clear of Neil Gaiman. <laughs> Watch me work. <laughs> um. So whatever they fucking cut her up. 
Um, and, and that's like the whole basis for the story is like this evil will someday come back if she's pieced together again. Mila Jovovich, by the way, let's let you know this is a fucking disaster waiting. <laughs> little box <laughs> office fucking disaster. You know, David Harbour is like, all right, yeah, big fucking franchise. Hellboy, I like the sound of that. Who we got playing the evil witch? Annette Benning, <laughs> Renee Russo? Who we talking about here? Um, um, uh, David, they passed and... Um, uh, uh, ooh, uh, it's either Mila Jovovich or no one. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Who directed this again? Neil, Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall of wow. The Descent. Jesus and War Dogs. And, or is that what it's called? No. Yes, Dog Soldiers. Dog yeah. Soldiers, yeah. Yeah. Doomsday, yeah. Doomsday, which and was Doomsday. all right. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, this might have been better by if, if Paul W.S. Anderson directed it. Oh, yeah. At this point, I mean... Yeah, yeah, probably. M- Mila's worst half? equal half. <laughs> equal. Yeah. I mean, like <laughs> Mila is. She's actually trying a little bit in this movie. I guess I don't know. Uh, she knows what she's working with. Yeah, sure. I don't think she's bad in everything. No, no. I mean, she carried that fucking Resident Evil franchise. Oh, for on eight, her back for like six back. movies or whatever. Man, that's something I need to dig into this year, right? I've only ever seen the first one. I've Same. always intended to do like. And a I always marathon. hated it, but I was always like as a little shit. Head kid in the nineties, like that soundtrack's pretty cool. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. Oh, that's a new oh, POD track. <laughs> Eep. Speaking of which, the music in this movie is fucking dog shit. Fuck Let it. me assure you, gentle listener, Fart Rock is alive and well, and it's both the score and soundtrack in this film. Oh, so Hellboy goes to Mexico. Yes. Oh, right. He's in Tijuana. There's a fun gag where he's talking to his father, played by Ian McShane. Where whenever he tries to hang up the phone, he breaks it, guys. Oh. God damn, that's dumb. That's uh, so dumb. And it's just like an, an, agent, an agent has gone rogue while looking for Mexican vampires in Mexico. And uh, he's got a, he's got like gone, uh, you know, walked off the reservation. Then he needs to bring him in, much like a, a CIA agent See, might go well, missing. Sure. The thing is, like, if we just condense this, get rid of fucking prophecies, get yes. rid of apocalypse shit. If it's just Hellboy's Mexican ad- adventure yep. fighting vampires, yep. that's all you need. That's, by the way, Neil Marshall, that's the movie, dude. I also think when this is coming up, the, the giant thing, the wild hunt, yeah, that's just the movie, that. too. Just that's, that. that's Neil Marshall's second why? Hellboy movie. What the fuck are you doing? Well, why have one movie when you can have 13? <laughs> well, that's the thing, is because those are both... Are actual Mark uh, Hellboy comic stories. I, I, I've never read a, a Hellboy book. I've always kind of meant to. I always uh, thought the art in the Hellboy books was really that's, awesome. That's Mike McNola's bag, man. He's like a comic, like a, a really striking artist, and that's which is missing from this. It's more in the Guillermo versions. It takes a lot more from what he's doing. But I mean, like the thing is, like it's to to mash a bunch of different storylines together is a waste of my time. Yeah. So you're saying the the Mexican wrestling? That's one story. The that, gi- these were all comic yeah, so stories. There's a there's a, a, a graphic novel or a trade paperback called The Wild Hunt. There's another one called The Blood Witch. Jesus like you know what I mean? Like all this shit's going Christ. on. Let me tell you, just by the way, this was written by a fella named Andrew Cosby. Kind of looks like John Malkovich. Uh, was that was that a pseudonym for Bill Cosby? <laughs> he wrote this in prison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all I need is some writing paper. I'm gonna write the new Hellboy with the Hellboy and the Abe Fishman and the Wim Wim Bum 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 Bum. Do you want to apologize to the victim? No, I want to write a Hellboy movie. <laughs> <laughs> Someday I'll die in this cell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Also, the only other thing this dude really wrote for in any kind of large capacity, he was also a co- I, well, no, I guess just the creator of that show Eureka, which who could possibly? Oh, yeah, that's God. something I don't care about. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's oh, a, that, a show. Oh, he really? That's a show called, something you don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> he also created a show called Hunted. Uh, okay, that sounds like another sci-fi original to me. Art two to art eight. Uh, I mean, for if this movie was oh a yeah, sci-fi- it's a fucking cop that can communicate with the dead. Oh, oh nice. Matthew Fox series. Yep. If this movie was just sci-fi original, it'd be, it'd be like that's pretty good for sci-fi. Yeah, no, exactly. He goes uh, and there is a Mexican wrestling match. That's where he tracks this guy down to. And the guy happens to be a vampire. Uh, so I guess he got turned in his pursuit of vampires. Yes. Right. This is, you know, there could be something to this whole Mexican wrestling thing, but it ends immediately. Yes. No. Sure. I mean, well, because they got to get out of fucking Tijuana in yeah. 10 so, minutes of so this two-hour movie. So much there's another on. movie that has to be made, another quarter right. of a movie that so has to Hellboy be made. So Hellboy just happens to throw this guy in the right angle that his 
his torso lands directly on like the ring side. Yes. And it, my like, God, the vampire bat is dead. <laughs> oh my God, Hellboy, he, he impaled him right on the top turnbuckle. When he shows up, they do say, oh, and it's the world's most famous paranormal investigator, right, it's like, Hellboy. Oh, it's a yeah. celebrity's here. I couldn't remember from the other two movies. Is he a known thing? He's like kind that? of known, yeah. They're, but it's yeah. a little bit more. St- like, they're trying. They're yeah. trying their fucking best. It's not working out, though. Yes. What? In the, in the, it, to, the, to keep him secret. Oh, I see what they're you're They're trying saying. very hard, but it's not going well. Is By this- the way. By the way, Tom, yeah. in the original, you meet new, like old Hellboy, yeah, like kicking ass Hellboy with Tom Waits' heart attack and Vine. Yes. This time, it's like, come on, feel the noise or some fucking it's a like lot of hair rock. metal garbage. There's also a Spanish language cover of oh, that's the one, whatever that is. Yeah, that tune. Um, yeah, I can't think of it, but I was like, man, fuck this song, and then it was like. In Spanish, and I was like, "Oh, I get it. That's and that's like, cute. He, Thank you." They were like best buds, and like he kind of has last words, and he feels bad, and Hellboy gets drunk for a couple of days. That's sort of something, right? Oh, it's a Spanish language version of "Rock You Like a Hurricane." Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Fucking fart. <laughs> Some agents from the BPRD pick him up, which is the Bureau of Paranormal something or other. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That uh, about checks out, and they're like, "Your father needs you," and Ian McShane's like, "Ha." Finally, Hellboy, can I leave? Is that was that good, Neil? Am I done for the day? <laughs> now this was the he character- does not want to be in this movie. Oh, absolutely not. not. No, but this was the character that John Hurt played in the first yes. two movies, yes. or at least the first one. Is he in both of those? He's in both of those movies. Yeah, it's the same guy, right? Yes. Is he calling him dad in those movies? Yes. He okay. calls him father, I believe. Father. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, first of all, Ron Perlman, stupendous actor. Yes. Yeah. As much as I'm saying, I think Harbor's fine in this, and I think he is well cast in a bad movie. Perlman, man, you can't fucking beat it. But I also think that Perlman has something about being a guy in a lot of face makeup that Harbor does not have. And I don't think that, that's not a knock against Harbor. It's just like it's fucking hard. But they're also trying to be a little bit more realistic and like more detail. And yeah. like it's obviously cartoonish in the Del Toro yes. ones because that's what Del that's Toro what it does. Should be. Dude, he's got yeah. braided back hair in this movie. <laughs> yeah. That, that, I was thinking about that. That back hair was disgusting. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, dude, puking. but you gotta do something with it. Someone's got to shave. You get the B, you get a lowly yeah. BPRD agent to shave Hellboy's back, dude. That's what their internship program is for, to the letter. Does, doesn't he have like a cap or something? I remember seeing some kind of cap with goggles or something. Oh, in the other ones, and, I don't yeah, know, he I does kind of have cool. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like steampunk goggles, pilot's glasses. Yeah, like sure. what Tom Hardy and fucking Dunkirk. <laughs> 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 yes, exactly. <laughs> Well, Hell, Hellboy could have been Tom Hardy and Dunkirk. He could have died so? and went to hell, you know? Because, I mean, like, the of Nazis would have killed that guy. Right position. I mean, he <laughs> Lower was, it. He was flying for the RAF, so he would be in hell. You're right, Steve. <laughs> well, I don't know what that guy was up to otherwise. Bureau for Paranormal Search and Defense. Got it. Is what it is. And by Burp. the way, their headquarters is in Colorado. It's like, oh, Hellboy, there's another movie we're going to get to. It's, uh, the, 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 you ever hear the Osiris Club? Oh, oh is that that Christ. strip club in Jersey? Yeah. No, the other one. Hellboy. Yes, uh, Hellboy, we had to relocate from New York because... Because they legalized it here in Colorado. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and they're here being, look what we do. Did I fall asleep? Is Colorado in this movie? Yes. yes really? That's where, it's based. That's where their it, first headquarters is. It's, it's a blink and you miss it, though. Because it's because they're doing a they, lot of these fucking huge text on that. Like, it's fucking right. Mind Hunter. Yeah. Exactly. We do end up. the. I remember the like the fish and chip shop being the major place. I guess that's after Colorado. Yeah, that's uh, like the, yes. the European version. He's just setting up the next movie. He's like, hey, Hellboy, you have to go help out this Osiris Club. It's a, they're a bureau of fucking, they're another yes, paranormal a, bureau. Of okay, whatever you got to go fuck. to the, the fucking Venture Brothers for a while. See <laughs> <Yes>. you later. <laughs> That's how it felt like to me. Well, it's a thing that um, Sasha Lane's character like jokes about at the end of the movie. She's like another underground boys club yeah. of monster aficionados you know and th- these motherfuckers are like from a long line i mean these were like queen victoria era fucking dudes that started this Ooh. osiris club and this like this like seven minute stretch of this movie i'm like i could watch this movie because it's like <laughs> hellboy's like what what's these guys deals and there's like a, a pretty engaging the woman is uh well the sophie, characters oh, uh sophie okonedo yes right, who's good lady hutton yes yeah. and she's like 
and there's this other white guy, uh, whatever his name is. Um, oh, th- this Alistair dude. or something or other. This Crowley. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <it was> Alistair. <laughs> this dude, I think his name is Rick Warden or something oh, like that. Uh, I'm just, I'm trying to look real quick because he was. Um, he, he's not Andre Brower's husband in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I always think of him as that guy. Oh, the, oh, the guy who plays Kevin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, oh yeah, this guy, Alistair Petrie. Eric, you know who he is? No, he's fucking General Draven in Rogue One. Wow. Yeah, G- General Draven wasn't he like a Mon Calamari? No, no, Draven was the guy that was kind of playing both sides. Not both sides, but like he's like he tells uh, what should we call it, Di- Diego Luna, he's got to kill oh, there. Oh yes yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, he, yeah. He, now that you say that, I do rec- I do remember the face. And he's a pretty good actor, and he's just like he's like, well, Hellboy, welcome to the Osiris Club. Like, oh, yeah. this is kind of a movie. And then you think like that's what the movie is, and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, pretty cool. British underground secret society of like monster enthusiasts and hunters, like pretty sweet. Let's settle in for this movie only for 20 minutes. And also like, here's the thing. We've, we just got the two Hellboy movies. We don't need to see Hellboy's origin, but guess what we're going to spend 20 minutes on right now. Yep. It's Hellboy's fucking origin. Again. And the secrets therein, dude, that's the thing, Steve, the secrets therein. Right, Cause the Osiris club tells him about his birth. And then we get the flashback for 20 something minutes. Yes. Of just so seeing, many flashbacks. It's like seeing the movie. Wayne family die over and over again. Like, yeah, dude, I it's like don't fucking it. uncle Ben. It's all of these things. Stop. Stop thinking that fans of these movies forgot how the fucking dude look, got there in the first place. Look, yes, it is exactly like the first 10 minutes of the first movie. <laughs> but how about if uh, Thomas Hayden Church kills a couple Nazis? So we are flashing <sighs> back. This is like the 40s, I guess, is the idea. Yeah, or maybe like the late, the late. It would be fucking something if it was the 70s. <laughs> no, 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 no. But maybe like the late 30s. I don't sure, really know like, yeah. what the timeline uh, is. Well, here. they say that that the Nazis were about to lose the war, and this was okay. like a last-ditch effort to summon a no. demon to help the war. Then? Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Serpico was fighting the Nazis. <laughs> Dude, fucking Serpico be Nazis. I'd watch it. For sure you'd watch that. Serpico, you sucking off that Nazi in there or what? <laughs> Uh, I was framed. <laughs> uh, yeah, but so it's like a, on a fucking dark night in the you know the 1940s or whatever the Nazis were doing this thing, and the Osiris Club like broke in to fuck it up, <sighs> and then there's also this dude, the Lobster, who's Lob- just Tom. What is it? is it? Is it the Lobster? Or is it something else? It's Lobster Johnson is the character's <laughs> name. Yeah, it's my dick's got a pincher on it. <laughs> what? Is, well, now this is like a fun name. Is sure. this sort of? This is like a fucking a movie inside a Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah. This is like Lobster that Johnson Nazi Hunter. Mystery men trash of being like <laughs> fucking the blazing carrot well, or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah. I started uh, selling lobster salad in cups in Brooklyn and uh, <laughs> and under the Lobster Johnson's name and then uh, times were tough. Uh, Why <laughs> is it that this is played by Thomas Hayden Church? Great question. I mean, he was available. But Three like, to get, five people passed. This is like a four-minute roll. Well, that's is. what I'm saying, though. Like, get fucking Rogue One dude to be yeah. Lobster Johnson if you must. Yeah. I I'm just saying, you get Thomas Hayden Church for a movie, man. Beef it up a little bit. That's yeah, all. I don't want to do that much, though. Stacy, where's Hellboy? <laughs> he, yeah, it's he's a guy. I mean, and this is a, this is a Mike McNeil character. It's a somewhat popular. According to people, he has his own line. Yeah, yeah, he's had, he's had his own books and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. What the That's fuck? crazy. Oh, and he's going up against these Germans that like one dude's got like the three D glasses. Like, dude, he's Nazis fucking... wearing the fucking anaglyph three D glasses. Yeah. Sign me up for that science experiment. And there's a character who's clearly playing Renny, Lenny Riefenstahl. Dude, she's cre- this. Yeah, she's making funny. a three D movie, dude. <laughs> I, <laughs> the first, I made it's the first three D movie. <laughs> you see this this lady Nazi get behind a camera and she's like filming. The, the hell portal opening or whatever and I out loud to myself last night was like oh Lenny Riefenstahl and yeah. then I went on IMDb no! and this woman is no! credited as Lenny Riefenstahl okay. shut the fuck up <laughs> movie what are you doing dude it's so dumb like you can do 
fine, do that. But don't credit her as Lenny <laughs> This one's for all the cinephiles out can there. I, uh, Lenny Riefenstahl cameo. Can I do a, a tracking shot through the portal? <laughs> out to the other side of Rasputin. <laughs> oh, dude, it's Rasputin's here, <laughs> yes, too. Yes, Rasputin was in the first movie. He the was. main villain. And there's oh, also, was he really? Yeah, he's uh, the main oh, I got, villain. I got to rewatch Thomas this Kruchman thing. plays him, I think. He, I forget. Uh, Who? Thomas Kruchman is a German actor. He's been in a bunch of stuff. All right. Mm. There's also that... God, he's from the first movie that that Nazi in the leather that has the knife arms. Yeah, oh, that guy's cool. He's that, in yeah, the first he's one. I'm not sure about the second one actually. But he he's got it. He's like a non character here. So we're just like redoing the first movie in yeah, this yeah. scene. Not even close, Steve. This oh. dude's name is Marcos Roundthwaite. I was way off. He's wearing a Dodgers hat in his IMDb picture. Cool. But yeah, we're doing the first movie in like five minutes or less, and like it's a thing where here's the thing. I, yeah. You can do, I mean, you shouldn't, but you can do many versions of Batman because Batman's been around since the fucking 40s. There's been hundreds of thousands of Batman stories told, yeah, different sure. interpretations of the character through the comics. Same I saw with, that thing where he went to Japan for no reason. Same thing with Spider-Man, same thing with a lot of these big characters. But Hellboy, it's always been Mike Mignola. It's always been like a really specific story. Do you know so all you're doing is retelling the same story again. Uh, do you know when this uh, comic started? I want to say early 90s. Okay. Yeah, that's my guess. So a decent amount of time. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, you're just rehashing the same shit, which also, but that begs the question, then why don't you just get somebody like Guillermo del Toro, who's a fan of this shit, or get, you know, Mike Mignola, is that his name? Yeah, yeah. Get this motherfucker himself to be like, hey, dude, you created this shit Write a new Hellboy well, story for this well, movie. Yes. This movie was going to blow up, and then there was going to be an offshoot. There was going <sighs> to be a Lobster Johnson movie. I would watch Lobster a direct-to-streaming Lobster Johnson movie. So, by the you way... Mean pornography? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> Lobster... You pornography? Lobster Johnson and uh, Hellboy are in a car, and he's like, Hellboy, we've got to go back for the ring. We've got to go back. If I lose Christy, I lose everything. Uh, me and Lobster Johnson were college roommates. No, Lobster Johnson, I'm not drinking any fucking Merlot. <laughs> you fucking Nazi hunting Merlot drinking piece of shit. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Sasha Lane, how's the, uh, how's the specials tonight? <laughs> oh, no, that pig monster is coming at me with his floppy cock. Go get him, Lobster Johnson. <sighs> Paul Giamatti should have played fucking Rasputin. Oh, for sh- that would have been great. I know. <laughs> no. It would be great for Paul. Paul you know is what? an amazing actor. They're just... Look, the fans are itching for a sideways reunion. I'm Lobster Johnson. Then he's Rasputin. You do direct to streaming. Yeah, there's a little bit of hardcore porno in it. <laughs> It's a Caligula. <laughs> Don't tell Paul about it. He hates porno. Satanist to dominate. Food <laughs> and the ball. Oh, God, you know, I drank poison. I was shot in the head, thrown in a lake, <laughs> and I'm still fucking alive. God damn it. Uh. Fucking kill me, Hellboy. God damn it. So I guess the motivation for Rasputin is he was, I, was, what, he was, like a, was he a czarist? I'm not I too get, familiar. Yeah, question mark. And then I guess he hates the Soviet Union, so now he's working with the Nazis. I think he was an occultist was the idea. I like guess he's so. a mon- yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's a, he was more right. into the monster part He's of like it. a wizard. Yeah. Well, wasn't he fucked over by the Romanov family? That wasn't makes that sense. Thing? Well, know. he was murdered Sounds 17 right. times. Yeah. <laughs> one of those times had to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to make you a little upset but with the Romanov what? family. No one did it right until Lobster Johnson <laughs> And yes. brands his fucking head Dude, so the devil knows claw. who sent you? Yeah. Do you think the devil's like getting all these corpses? He's like, again, I don't know what this fucking yeah, symbol is. Can somebody <laughs> fill me in? What's with all these burnt foreheads? It doesn't look like anything. And they'd be like, wait, hold on. He's lobster. The devil's like, he's lobster Johnson, but so does he have a claw? Is he red? Like, <laughs> no, his, no. His dick's fucking weird. Is no, that what he's he calls just got a there? golden thing and he calls himself lobster Johnson. I don't know, Satan. But does he work at like a red lobster? Is that the idea? <laughs> Unlimited cheesy tots. Oh man, those uh now what are they? The Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never eaten a Cheddar Bay Biscuit. Oh yeah, dude. Me neither. Yes. Man. There's like I think you go right to hell. <laughs> there's like there's, hell of love. Dude, there's a fucking yeah. there's a mark on your colon that there's, the devil checks. There are biscuits and then there are cheddar there's, bay biscuits. Yeah. There's salt and then there are hills. Oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he's got this golden thing that brands people and blows them. I mean, basically, Hellboy is born and this lady Sophia Okanedo is like, hey, 
you when we, you were born, we were said to kill uh-huh. you, me and your father, but your father decided otherwise. Right. Right. And, and then the, for yeah. some reason, everyone stopped aging. Oh, well, yeah. What is that? The, she some says something about there was some, some curse shit. that happened, and her, Ian McShane... Uh, the dude from Rogue One and like a couple other fellas right. I think age at a snail's pace, I we're told. Guess because of the prophecy to yeah. help stop it. Question. Uh, but you know what? Okay, we... okay. We drank a baby's blood. Okay? <laughs> it I would works. like that better. Like if Ian McShane is like, I'm gonna level with you, son. We were doing the occult shit, and you when you do that, you drink a baby's blood. <laughs> Look, it has to be, you know, from the Mennonite era. You got to have a good <laughs> cup. Got a good cup to drink the baby from. Ugh. So, yeah, so that she's like, look, that's what's going on. And, you know, enjoy the wild hunt, Hellboy. And he's like, I guess I Well, I guess I will. Right. So- and, he, and it's new information. He's like, oh, no, I can't believe uh, my dad wanted to kill me. And, and this is when it's just all of his angsty shit. I just have no time for Because the problem is David Harbour, God bless him. Uh, too old to be playing a teenager. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so Just let's fucking dial that back. Play okay. him like, of course he was going to come and kill me because I'm a fucking devil. Sure. Hellboy, when we are introduced to him in this, he has posters for Refused and Converge. Yeah. So he's like a post-punk emo boy. I don't think so. That does not make sense. I mean, you know, Refused, kind of a great band, but... I like Converge. Senator, I've never heard of either of those. Same, bands. thank you. I guess I'm and older Converge is all right too. Not, not particularly <laughs> my style, but I guess to be fair to that, I mean, we're talking like early aughts, you yeah, know, late nineties. Late nineties. It's okay. And I mean, it's. A, I mean, I know some of their fans are having knee troubles, but David Fucking Harbor <laughs> has had knee troubles for some time now. But the thing is, if you're saying that that's the kind of music that Hellboy listens to. Put that in the movie. Yeah. All of this fart rock guitar, the fucking electric <laughs> guitar. It's like the That's fourth actually... or fifth record Jet made. <laughs> but this is Are good... you going to be my Hellboy? <laughs> Not that, but there's a good point here to be had that like some of that early aughts and late 90s, like indie and whatever, you don't hear those in movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have Hellboy humming, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I agree. It's chemical, my chemical romance. <laughs> Never listened. I'm not okay. That's, that's what it is. Maybe like the good stuff from the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why isn't he asking Ian McShane to like get him tickets to the Lifetime reunion? <laughs> Fuck, dude. That would be <laughs> awesome, dude. What I would is go- that, band? Is that a television network? Listen, listen, here's the thing. Me and Hellboy, they're doing Jersey's Best Dancers in its entirety. Me and Hellboy going to see Lifetime. It's amazing. I've never heard of Steve. Steve look up Lifetime. You might like him. All right. All right. All right. Eric, maybe I, not. I, <laughs> um, so they, so the, they're like, hey, Hellboy, uh, we're going to go on this hunt. We've got these amazing lances. They have electricity on them. Here's- Five times the strength of the electric chair, we're told. Uh, and Hellboy gets on a horse. He would cripple this horse. Yeah. I mean, he's a big <laughs> dude. He's. A- Did you notice that, like, what they do here? They give the horse, I don't remember what it is, but they give the horse a name that's, like, Bulk Buster. Yeah. <laughs> to, to- Long shanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like, it's long shanks. So you're like, oh, this fucking horse can uh, hold hell. Boy. This is our fattest horse. See, <laughs> this long shanks, it's foreshadowing the betrayal, right? Uh, because lo- the long shanks was a dickhead oh, yeah. in Braveheart. Remember? I was just thinking about the fat horse. No, I, fat horse. I mean, look at the size of the thing. The unit. <laughs> Uh, All right, no, there's a new Sideways reunion. It's me and Paul Giamatti. It's a movie called Fat Horse. <laughs> We're drinking wine on top of a fat horse. Mm-hmm. The movie writes itself. It's all right there. And also, it's- maybe I'm fucking Sandra O oh in this one. <laughs> okay, on- <laughs> honest question. Yeah. They make a Sideways 2. Are you in? <laughs> Yes, I, I would watch I it. Am. I think yeah, I, 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 think I am. Yeah. Here's here's. I rewatched Sideways this year. That movie totally holds up. Does it really? Today. I did. I haven't seen it since the year. Came still out. Get a bottle of wine and some good cheese. And this is what I did on a Sunday afternoon. I done had a and done. Great time. Triple right. done. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, fuck. What was I going to ask? Oh, here's the thing about your your hypothetical Sideways sequel. Yes. Where are they going for the Ooh. long weekend? 
Skiing? Maybe well, they go to Paris skiing. or something. You could do anything. It's, oh, continuing yeah. the wine thing, Steve? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What, what were you going to say? Well, I was, no, I was just going to mention how like they made all those the trip movies with Steve Coogan. Sure. Yeah. You can make so many sideways. And now that those have officially outstayed their welcome, <laughs> we can go to sideways versions <laughs> exactly. of it. Uh, exactly. I, I, I broke up with Virginia Manson, <laughs> and I'm having another bachelor party. <laughs> Well, let's go then to wherever the fuck on a fat horse. <laughs> Do you know he's the son of the horse they shot in Animal House? <laughs> it looks like that fat horse from that Bugs Bunny cartoon with the big Viking in it. Oh, wait, that was a bull. Oh, stupid me. <laughs> uh, so it's like, all right, Hellboy. One giant, we would not have a problem with. Two giants, also no problemo. Three giants, big problem. We got to bring in Hellboy to help us kill these things. There's one funny line here about like they're all suiting up in knights in like suits of armor and stuff, and Hellboy's like, "What is it? Halloween?" <laughs> <laughs> he does have a couple of good one-liners. I have to say, I mean, David Harbour's charming and funny, so that works out. Yeah. Uh, he, this dude. Oh, sorry. Oh no, I was gonna say Hellboy is about to get made. Like uh, he's like, "Hey, where are the giants?" Oh, oh no. no! Yeah. Classic <laughs> mistake, doll. Dude, fucking hunt the giants with Hellboy and then kill him. Yes, seriously. Why are you leaving the giants around? Because the hubris of the Osiris Club yeah. is as such, yeah. dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do like the uh, the headdress. The the uh, the guy from Rogue One wears a uh, oh, deer's yeah. head. Yeah, pretty. Hellboy's cool. got a good line here where he's like, uh, "Tell me, I don't have to wear that hat." Yes. And the guy's like, no, 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 I know your thing in horns or antlers yeah. or whatever. It's kind of funny. One of the other dudes in the Osiris Club mentions that these uh, giants love eating humans because they're obsessed with eating bone marrow. And oh. I was like, I feel you, giants. I love a good bone marrow appetizer. I find it far too expensive and not really worth the trouble. Yeah. <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a giant myself. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be made right yeah. is the thing. Yeah. I uh so Hellboy gets attacked by these dudes and he's like, What the fuck? And it's a pretty fun fight scene. He gets stabbed in the heart. I'm like, well, how the fuck do you kill Hellboy? It, they make the him really invincible in this movie. The spear goes right through his entire body. Yes. Yeah. Through the heart. Yes, and he's just like, that's fine. Do you think, well, do you think it's like he's a demon, like half demon? So, so you gotta like, kill him. Then special. show like fire sealing the hole back up. Or give oh, I'm just something. saying maybe his heart's someplace else. So it's like the equivalent oh, like of like he's dick? just getting stabbed through the arm or something. Like his heart's like pumping down in his <laughs> nethers. Sure. Anywhere. Maybe his leg. It's in his sack. <laughs> his sack? Yeah. Expand on that. Which is made, which is made out of gravel. I mean, I think a it's a gravel uh, sack. It's, it's pretty much exactly how it sounds. Yeah, yeah. So oh, you're saying his scrotum is full yes. of rocks? No, no, his heart. His heart is like a scrotum full of rocks. You are a poet, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Uh, <laughs> we they... are cutting around to this pig oh, monster, that's right? Uh, played who? by Stephen Graham. Or Who's vo this guy? Voiced by Stephen Graham. It's Stephen... Chips Hardy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stephen Graham is uh, from This Is England, also from The Irish Many Wore Shorts That Meeting. Oh, that oh, guy? Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, he's, oh. In, he's in Snatch as well. English okay. Uh, he's also in Boardwalk Empire a ton. Yeah. As a Al, Capone. Al Capone. But he's just doing the voice. And I mean, like, he's just doing this, like, British punk guy, and this is where you get the f bombs left, right, up, and down, and center. This little cartoon's swearing up a storm. I couldn't what's, even believe it. What's his name? Gargluck? I, I I can't even tell you. It's Garlic gar knot. Gar <laughs> Gabagool. I'm trying. This? I'm trying to look it up, but yeah, uh, it is actually what I always think of when we do the Chips Hardy voice. Grugak is, is this guy. Grugak or something. Grugak. G R U A G A. Sounds like <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say it sounds like something my grandmother used to make around the holidays. <laughs> you gotta eat your gravlock. Yeah, it, it does have cabbage, like all the other gluglocks. <laughs> True. This motherfucker's running around because his whole thing is like if he if he finds all the boxes with the parts yes. of the Queen of Blood, uh, she'll be reassembled. Some and as of yet unknown to us old witch sets him on this quest. She's like, well, we both have a score to settle with Hellboy. This is Baba Yaga? Yes, yes this is Baba Yaga. Right, which is a problem to have Ian McShane from John Wick where they call him Baba Yaga in also this, and I'm just like, there's too much Baba Yaga. Why are they calling Ian <laughs> Ian McShane that in those movies? Is he stealing well, no, they're, kids? They're calling John, John Wick. Wick that. Oh. Because it's, 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 he's a boogeyman. Because oh, the Russians oh, call oh, them that because oh, he's the boogeyman. Oh, and now we have oh, the actual boogeyman. 
who's right. apparently this this uh, character's from the comic books. I yes. looked it up because we do eventually see her hut, which is a chicken chicken leg, house, chicken legs on a in a house. And I wonder, like, is this from actual old folklore? Because motherfucker, this was dead. This, this is was- uh, from the historical record. Teddy Roosevelt had a house like this. <laughs> <laughs> but. I feel, I feel like Teddy Roosevelt's been on the wild hunt, hunting giants. Oh, definitely. But I played in a video game house. in the early 90s called Quest for Glory. Of course you did. By Sierra Online. And yeah. it was funny about, funny enough. It was Sierra before we Before we were all online, Online it was called Sierra Online. And they didn't, there was not really an online. Anyway. What the hell is the online from the company name then? I don't know. I, I don't know, but there was a dash in it. Oh, uh, uh, well, you know what? It's just it was this on dude line. Frank Sierra who this was just, just waiting at Burger King. This just turned right. into a new episode of Halt and Catch but, Fire. Yes, but in 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 Quest for Glory, there was Baba Yaga's hut, which was a hut on chicken legs. Oh, interesting. That's, yeah, I, I mean, this is probably it's part exactly of the, thing. the yeah. same. That so I mention it because this because the video game came out years before the comic. Anyway. Yes, and I mean I think that that's probably like probably from folklore, like you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's probably and why they both like, adapted it. She's like, and also we're like I feel like and again it's been a little while, Chris. Remind me in Hellboy in the Del Toro movies, mm-hmm. we're calling him Red a lot. We're Red not is a saying lot. Yeah. we yep. say the word Hellboy very few times because you know what. It's kind of silly to say it's Hellboy stupid. a lot. It's stupid. It's it kind of sure silly is. and shitty well, to say Hellboy that often. And why they, wouldn't he take a name, even yeah. if it's not a nickname like Red? Why wouldn't Frank it be Johnson? <laughs> yeah, Monster Hunter. Call me Tommy, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tommy the Hellboy. Tommy Boy. But like you're calling me Hellboy because like Ian is like, well, Hellboy, and then like this guy's like, Hellboy fucked me over good one time. <laughs> like everybody knows Hellboy this and Hellboy that, and I'm like guys. Stop saying Hellboy. Hellboy fucked me good one time. <laughs> well, shit, no, that sounded wrong. Don't isolate that clip. <laughs> anyway, no, no. There was, there's like, that just gives us room for a fucking flashback where we're seeing how this Boy. Hellboy fucked me good one time. This girl, <laughs> Alice, became her, her, how she got her own powers and also how this. Like pig man got fucked over by Hellboy, so we're just doing another origin story in the middle of this fucking every movie. every character except including Ian McShane has an origin vignette, yeah. and I'm like, yep. can I get the fuck out of this movie? And theater it's like already? this movie's only two hours, uh, like two hours and two minutes. Yeah. But it feels like the Hellboy fucked me good one time. <laughs> yes, because it's just there's so many movies going on. Yeah, it's really tough. And this is Sasha Lane from American Honey. Uh, uh, that you know she's fucking great in American Honey. She incredible. was also in um, Hearts Beat Loud last year, which I think is a great underseen, underrated movie. It's underseen, I haven't seen it. The Miseducation of Cameron Post. I think she is. Also yes, in she's this. also in that. Three um, strikes, Chris. Also, uh, get ready to <laughs> fucking jump off a bridge. You guys she talking was... about emo bands over here? Yes. <laughs> no, the, but this actress was born in 1995 so oh, that's tough oh but she was great in sunny day real estate <laughs> uh do you know that fan i've heard of that okay. oh, there you go steve but All she right. saves hellboy because hellboy falls down like he disp- basically what happens is these guys attack him he falls in a lake passes out wakes up these giants have killed everybody and now he has a big giant fight. The giant fight's just okay. It's not it's, bad. It's, it's not good either because these, good obviously either. these giants are super CGI cr- creatures. And like the way he dispatches them is kind of just happenstance. He is obviously impervious against them. They keep hammering him with shit and he's yeah. fine. And then he just like grabs a tree and the dude fucking uh. trips and his head gets Here's, smashed yeah, by the they're tree. They're all and... fucking so stupid. They don't yeah. know how to Thank use you, these things. Yeah. Chris can say better than I can. I- I'll say this. My biggest gripe with it. One, I mean, the, the green screen here yeah. does not look great. Not great. Uh, but what's worse, and here's the thing, folks. Unless you do it really well and to the best of your ability, actually make it a legitimate one. These fake one take situations look fucking terrible. Yeah. And this movie does it multiple times, including in the end scene as well, like the very end scene. This thing where like it's supposed to be all one take, but it's so computery that obviously it looks like fucking garbage. Because it's arty. It's artistic, don't you see? <laughs> right. It's good. Also, it does not help when you have like 
do you want to fuck my face? Like going while you're yes, fighting please. these goddamn giants. It's distracting as shit. Oh, Chris, you're right. I would like. I know. I know that Hellboy's a badass. Yeah. I don't need a fucking rock guitar to how, tell me that too. How am I supposed to think that he's in danger from these giants yes. when the badass music is playing? Yeah, and the giants. I mean, I, I think some of the creature design in this movie is okay. The giant creature design just they look like Awful. gray nothing. I gotta say, dude, I'm sorry. Every bit of creature design in this movie, aside from Hellboy himself, looks like shit they picked out of Guillermo's fucking I, trash can. Yeah, I, it's I, all just rejected ideas. Oh, hold on, honey. We're <laughs> supposed to lock at the garbage can at the end of the night. <laughs> they uh, steal things for their movies. Uh, you can have the baby pig. The <laughs> baby know, pig monster, you can have him. <laughs> I, I will be I will be in the cold ground before somebody says something bad about Guillermo del Toro. He's like the nicest guy. Absolutely, dude. I fucking almost cried when his house burned down. His house burned down? Yeah, I think he was a victim of those fucking wildfires that Trump said China started or whatever the fuck. <laughs> China is starting the fires, folks. We didn't start the fire. Billy Joel said as much. Mexico. That piece of shit didn't vote for me, but his song was correct. Mexico is sending us all of their worst and their creepiest directors. <laughs> <laughs> and the wrestling vampires. <laughs> They're directing... Hellboy, they're directing <laughs> Babel. It goes on and on and on, folks. Roma, you better believe a Mexican did that. <laughs> they're stealing our jobs. <laughs> Listen, Birdman was trash. That's right. I'll say it. <laughs> oh, I might, he might. I might vote for. I him agree with him. Finally, that, yeah. <laughs> what was that whole like the onion thing? It's like te- oh, it's like a terrifying thing that the the, the worst person you know had a good point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so he uh, dispatches these things. He sees a car pull up, and this is when he has the killer line. He's like, huh, I guess my Uber just arrived. And he passes <sighs> out. Oh, boy. Uh, like, hey, everybody, what? just to make sure you know exactly when this movie was made. Uh. Also, like, immediately after, there's a Google Translate joke yes, once she, he meets up with Alice. Or she something. says, Oh, he says something like spiritual or monstrous, and she's like, could you Google Translate that for me? And I was like, no, don't. It's not even a joke. You're just using Google in front of the word translate. Yeah. How about just translate? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Because you know what? This is the script thinking that it's like smart and poppy. Right, and, and, and it's for now. You know, yeah, like, yeah. if I put yes, this shit the in teens. the script, it sounds like this is a movie for now. The There's, teens will relate. And we're in now now. There's a couple of self-aware stuff. Yeah. And, I, and this movie was sort of made on the heels of Deadpool because it's an R-rated fucking movie. But that's movie. the thing. You either yeah. got to go all the way or none the way. Because she's like, um, they're talking about the witch, and she's like, well, all right, so we just got to make sure she's not in the sequel then. And I'm like, well, don't say <sighs> Also, that's some presumptuous shit. <laughs> yeah, for like forty-five Dude. minutes into your movie, but there's a stinger scene at the end. After there's the end two. Credits. I missed. There's one. two. I, there's I missed two. the second one. Well, there's one that's like Obvious. the last shot of the movie, yeah. right? But there's one at the very. There's very one end even of the after that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, at the yeah. very end of the credits. Oh, the, once I, I, the credits get, are over. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get there. There oh, are it's... ten lost <laughs> scenes at the end, um, which I hate. That sh- I'm sorry, and it's like. Uh, uh, Obviously, they don't, like, have the patent on it. Yeah. But when you're doing that shit, it's just like, well, Marvel did it, right? You like the you like the thing? No. That's why, listen, it's a bad movie. None of us here liked it. Did a quite popular episode on it years ago, right? But I appreciate the fact at the end of BVS, there's no stinger scene. Yes. And that dude in the movie theater was like, might as well get up, fat guys. Let me fucking sweep up after there was nothing here. And you know what? Good, because you're not fucking Marvel, and that's the, the movie's thing that over. They do. Yeah. Well, no, this obviously is super trying to go in that direction. Of you guys are right is. about those other, all those other stingers before the actual end credits. But after the end credits, I'm just going to say it now because it's really inconsequential, and I don't know what it is. Maybe Steve does, maybe not. But Baba Yaga's back at the very end of the credits, and she is talking to an unseen monster, and it's just like the guy. It's just like this voice. It's like. All right, then I'll help you. I'll help you get Hellboy. And it's like this big moment that's like, this is like that guy from the yeah. comics or yeah. whatever. Well, that's the thing because the only like hinting line is the Baba Yaga says to him, uh, if you help me kill Hellboy, I'll finally let you die. Yeah. Right. So, like, wh- whatever so whoever, character that, you know. And I'm it, sure it registered yes. with a lot of fans of Hellboy. 
There's not a lot of fans of Hellboy. Though. That's, I mean, <laughs> is that like, right? There's not there's not some golden army out there of Hellboy. I mean, fans? I feel like there are fans of, of it, but I mean, not clearly, obviously, with the diminishing returns, not enough. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it's so. a oh, fairly obscure character. You're forgetting our backslash uh, backslash the golden army on uh, Reddit. Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, well, you can't look at that though know. because it's like four comments a month about Hellboy, and then the rest is like racist stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the golden army opposed Hellboy. Right? <laughs> yes, they okay. were against him. I I don't know, man. I'm just making a joke. No, I know. I I think it's a. Sound. I saw that movie one time. It's a fine. It's a fine joke, English. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying the structure could use. Boy. Hellboy fucked me good one time. Uh, so uh, yeah, Hellboy passes out in this river. It's kind of hilarious because you see the dude who was leading the hunt. Or no. I'm, I'm misremembering here. The guy he, he fights all those the giants. The yes. dude gets decapitated. Right. You see his head fall in the water. Which but then was actually Hel- kind of a fun shot. It's pretty funny. Then Hellboy fights these giants. Then he passes out after making the Uber joke. He wakes up in a bed. This right. is the introduction to the Alice character. She's, I guess, found him due to psychic powers. Yes. yes. She's psych- okay, her whole backstory is she was stolen as a baby by fairies who replaced her with a changeling. Right, which classic was, fairy maneuver, dude. Totally. And it, it's the pig guy in disguise as her, yeah. and he was going to grow up as her? I guess so, yeah. That's the idea, And yeah. he would have had a great life, a He's, normal I would have been a normal fucking person. I could have been a person. Now I'm a fucking pig. No one would have known I look like Bebop from the Ninja Turtles. And it was kind of an interesting scene with her parents and Hellboy is like his 90s phase. Yeah, he's got like a little bit of a stubble. Yeah, it's a different thing that he's just got this weird goatee. Now he doesn't. And yeah, it's, it's like, kind of funny. He was really not, into Black Flag. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, but I'd rather have this movie where he's doing paranormal investigations. Yeah, that's fucking, what. That's his fucking yeah. job, yeah. man. Well, this is he puts iron on this fucking baby, and it freaks out. Turns into the pig. It runs up the fucking chimney. He yells that the fairies should bring back the kid, and they, they and they do. It's kind of interesting though, because you think about it like. The the, the 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 ABC structure of this movie is something we've seen at, in this genre of like high concept horror action so many times in the last twenty years. Seventh Son is about a dirty witch yep. you got to kill. Uh, last Witch Hunter, uh, yeah. Hansel, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. Like they keep trying uh, that fucking Hansel and Gretel movie or the uh, oh, I'm sorry the the Brothers Grimm movie. Oh, yeah. it's there's a new one monster. coming out, right? There's like it, yeah, it's like. Gretel and Hansel or Visu- something. Visually, it looks kind of cool. There's uh-huh. all these fucking monster witch movies that nobody gives a shit about, and they keep it's making true. it, and like they keep diverging you know in why? different movies it's that are much better. You know why it's failing? What is that? They're going against the witches. Yeah. Do yeah. a pro witch movie. Do a pro black magic occult movie. You know, There's nothing wrong with the occult. That's a pro occult podcast because <laughs> it's the same stuff as everything else, folks. And Dude, by the way, I if s- you want to use any magic powers <laughs> on, on, to sympathetic podcasters to bolster their influence, <laughs> we are here for it. Not- I will say, I, I, I stand up and applaud at the end of The Witch when she signs this book. I'm like, exactly. fucking finally. Like, Great like yeah, I would love to live deliciously and not fucking I mean, churn butter for <laughs> fucking six hours. And that's why it's a great movie. It's not it's, it's not them fucking summoning Hellboy to fight shit. Also, I would appreciate just flying nude in the forest. Sure, yeah. that sounds great. I, I would love to do that. We don't do Probably that like enough. Probably like sleeping naked. Just yes. wonderful. Now, but the thing is, this movie attempts to bring that issue up a little with bit. the Mila Jovovich character, and it fails horribly at it because her whole thing is like, hey, fuck you, humans. Like, why can't us monsters and other paranormal watchets uh, live on Earth? You know, why are you the ones always forcing us to live in the darkness? And she tries to, like, get Hellboy on board with that. Like, hey, man, like, why are you helping these people? They fucking kill your brethren and so on. But the movie, it's so concerned with the overarching, like, uh, 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 badassery. I mean, the ba- the badassery, but just, like, the lore yeah. of, like, the Hellboy will, world that it just totally loses he, that concept. Will he choose evil at the end? He was born of men of evil, but then he was, you know, <sighs> told not to be yeah, evil. it's yeah. nature versus nurture. Yes, again. <laughs> Babe. It's uh, just like the place <laughs> behind the pines or whatever the fuck that movie oh, is. Oh, right. right. That was exactly what it was called. <laughs> I, I remember liking it, but I haven't seen it since it came out. That movie's a triptych where the first two thirds are great, and the last one you're like, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh, whoa, man. Tripping, it just doesn't work, man. Tripping over to my dick. 
to go rewatch that one. <laughs> <laughs> there, um, this is when Daniel Day Kim shows up. Uh, he like he, he's he he's sent by uh, Hellboy's dad. He'd be like, "Hey, Hellboy, the rest of the movie's this way." Right. He's kind of hanging out with this girl a little bit, <sighs> and Daniel Day Kim actually um, Major Ben Damio, by the way. And we should say really quickly, both him, Daniel Day Kim, and Sasha Lane doing abhorrent English accents. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, they make us look pretty great. Uh, they, <laughs> but there is some fucking, some white rage on the internet about this. Whoa! Anyway. What happened? No, um, you don't say. I'm, wait, the, I'm the internet, White Steve? rage. Is that, he's related to Hellboy. No, it's, a, what, ba- which no, it's comic a band from com- the 2000s you never listened to. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> I think Kevin and I also dodged that band. No, um, so, um, Originally, uh, this Ben Damio character was cast by Ben Dover, and now well, was cast by as uh, Ed Screen of the of uh, Deadpool. of Deadpool. He's the, the the villain in the first Deadpool movie, played okay. Ajax. Yep, and but the character's Asian American or Asian in in the in the in the comics. People were upset about that. Ed Screen was like, "No thanks." He he didn't do the Scarlet Giants, and he's like, "You know what? This is not for me. Let an Asian actor take it. I'm, I'm stepping right. away." Daniel yeah. Day comes in. And Daniel Day Kim, by the way, I've been a fan Good. since Lost. Uh, on the couple seasons of Hawaii Five O that I watched, he was fun on that. Great actor, but also it's screen like. Excuse me, I would like a nothing person in the role. <laughs> a, 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 a heavy mist. I would yeah, like to play I, I the was, role. Wait, but I say, who are you saying is nothing? Ed Screen. Okay. Daniel Day Kim. You know he was on like one of the biggest television shows of like the late two thousands. He's right. not adding much Lost. to this movie. I mean, I think I think it's yeah. fine. I'm not a big fan of him. I mean, I, I've never I didn't watch Lost. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. But like. That's so, where he lost me. IMDb trivia. After, Yikes, that sucked. After, <laughs> <laughs> you were slow on the gun for that because you were drinking a beer. Yeah, the, thank you. <laughs> after it screen, a white English act. This is IMDb trivia, Whoa. by the way. I'm, okay, I, I, okay, okay. Let's, hold, just, hold let's just emphasize really quickly, this is the trivia. Let's side. emphasize white English. That sounds fucking bad. It's getting worse. <laughs> after it screen, a white English actor resigned from the film amid criticism that he was due to play an Asian character. Some pundits and blogs <laughs> criticize the film as hyper- hypocritical for replacing a red-haired act- Irish character in the source material with Sasha Lane, an African-American actress. So so you could do it one way, you can't do it another? You could do it oh, one way, God, you can't uh, do it another? Who was complaining about this? Was it, was, it with, was it that guy that used to be here trying to be Larry King and now he's back on Good Morning Britain? What is his name? Thomas Ratchet? <laughs> What was his name? The oh, fucking Brit Piers Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan. Sorry, <laughs> Ratchet. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I think we should start calling Piers Morgan Thomas Ratchet. And UK listeners, it's up to you to really get that I going. I kind of like this a lot. It's like almost like you're watching a movie and they couldn't afford Pier- to call him Piers Morgan. Like I don't know. I'm Thomas Ratchet, a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, all I know about the dude is he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Pretty much, dude. Yeah. 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 Look, he Piers, fucking sucks. Well, you said Every pundit. show we've made with you has sucked. <laughs> Every single one. You're ratchet now. <laughs> Tom Thomas, Ratchet tonight. That's exactly yes. That's where I was going to. I just love how it's controversial that what we see on screen should in some way reflect the audience. Yeah, exactly. Like we're not all fucking a bunch of white people. Exactly. I mean, we are, but not everybody else. <laughs> we are, yes. But we're so white, we're like beyond white. <laughs> we're from hell. <laughs> so It feels like it sometimes, doesn't it? Ben Damio's got big scars on his face. We learn, later learn he's a jaguar person for a 20-minute fucking interlude. Which might have been okay. Sure. Is this is this book uh, material here? My you shoulders know what it is? are up. It feels know. like fucking late period true blood, but, and I book? cannot stop. Stand it. Book 18, Catman. <laughs> but if yeah, we, exactly. if this movie was restrained to something like that Mexican plot we were yeah. talking about, and then a Catman showed up to fight vampires with Hellboy towards the third act, fine. Yes. And also, That'd just fine. Guess what? Just be like, you know, I was struck by a, a jaguar cat once, and every time I get angry, I turn into a jaguar cat. Also, I don't need, I don't need to see the 12-minute <laughs> fucking thing. It's like... The jungle was hot that day, my oh, friend. Right. Oh, dude, it's him in like fucking South America. Or yeah, it's just like, I don't even remember this. It's it's a blink and you miss a dude. Like uh, his fucking battalion gets taken out. He's the only survivor. And here's the thing: fucking fifty five minutes before that flashback scene happens, 
there's like you see the scars, and I'm like, okay, Sasha Lane makes some comment about it, and then you see him at one point, like a oh, few God. minutes after that, inject himself with something, and I'm yeah. like. Well, that's the fucking medicine that keeps this monster from coming out clearly because this is a Hellboy movie. I'm a were jaguar. <laughs> Werewar. <laughs> They're call what the fuck are they calling him, Cabin in uh, uh, True Blood? I gotta oh, no. install some werewar on my computer <laughs> later. <laughs> Especially well, after the shit I've been Googling. All oh, the Pornhub wouldn't save <laughs> tubes, dude. <laughs> when it when it turns at midnight, porn just plays on my computer. <laughs> It's like wear pumas or something. I don't know. There is Ugh. something fucking garbagey on that show. There's a lot garbagey like, about yeah, that yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Quite a lot. What show? True Blood. True Blood. Right. Yeah, of I which I watched, watched like the first like four ish seasons or uh, show. Sookie. Or so, yeah. Sookie. 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 Hey, Sookie. 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 The Hellboy fucked me good one time. Sookie. That was a great O O band. <laughs> <laughs> there was so whatever hellboy uh he goes up to his dad and his dad's like yeah well, i'm sorry about the osiris club hellboy but now there's this other fucking problem sorry and hellboy movie three on its way <laughs> <laughs> we're changing reels changing plots as well and uh he's like well i don't want to do that dad and he's like fucking farting around and he's all pissed about it he gets sucked into bobby yaga's domain this is the Bobby Yaga scene. Again, I do think the character design of Bobby Yaga is pretty cool. I like that she kind of like like walks around like a weird crab person. That sort of stuff. Whoever did the performance committed. Like it's a very physical yeah. performance. And like she's like your your classic old witch. She's like, you know, uh baby soup. Oh, dude, the baby <laughs> soup we should talk about a little the bit. The baby it soup. It looked pretty good. Nice, Hell, yeah. Hellboy's a little tempted. He sits down, he's like, all right, what are we eating here? She's like, uh, it's a child soup. And he's like, Hmm. And he's there like, don't is... worry, it's only human child. Yeah. And I think n you shouldn't be offend you shouldn't offend Baba Yaga. You should have a sip. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, oh, this is too hot, Baba Yaga. Oh wow. No, seriously. Or just say I, I ate at lunch. I had big lunch. Was, was you... this supposed to be served cold? <laughs> <laughs> or did you leave this out, Baba Yaga? <laughs> like if you guys are sick. Oh, I'll reheat it. Let me, let me put it in the microwave. Oh, Baba Yaga's microwave. Because you, I have a reheat setting, I, you know. I have put jars of this stuff in the bag. I put one paper towel on top of the bowl, put it in the bowl. You don't want it splattering all over the inside of your machine, you see. But People eat veal. Is this that different? No, she's a witch, you and you don't want to insult her. Like if you guys went to another plane, and yeah. you you actually knew you were part demon anyway. Oh, for sure. I would, uh, you, you have to try it. I'm looking for an excuse anyway. Only question. <laughs> only question I have. I you got any hot sauce? <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. Legit disturbing shot though in this sequence is right after he sees like the little kid hand in the soup. Yeah, they cut, <clears throat> and it's Hellboy kind of looking over his shoulder, and they do a nice focus to what I can only presume is the Baba Yaga's walk-in freezer. Yeah. And there's just skinned children yeah. hanging like yeah. Rocky's meat locker. Not too shabby for this shitty movie. You're going to have to get some Tabasco, maybe some Sriracha out for that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, and also, what's the bread situation, Baba Yaga? That's great. Yeah, am I, I like dipping dip or what? Yeah, we got to dip. I mean, I mean, that's the thing. Is that you're not are crackers, oyster crackers, crackers no. with, with baby soup. You need. I think you need a thick peasant <laughs> bread. Are these wild cop kids? Uh, I need to know. That's true. I want free range. I don't <laughs> want a kid want raised a, in a cha in a chained a, up fucking cage in a cramped space. I don't want farm. no city kids. You get me a farm boy, Baba Yaga. Yeah. Honest question: If you are in this situation, oh, free range, definitely. If you know, if you're in this situation. <laughs> You're, you're offered a bowl of kid soup, right. sure. uh -huh. and you only, and I say only, dip bread into the kid soup and eat the bread. Are you uh, committing cannibalism, or are you not committing yeah. cannibalism? I say you are not. You, ooh, no, okay. No. Well, say, wait a second. I say you are, because there's re residual kid yeah, juice. Yeah. yeah. Like, th think about the eyeballs and, like, the yeah. fucking yeah, innards. But, and I, all right, you're talking about juice, dude, but look at it this way. Blood, dude. It's like, if you want, like, a real taste of, like... Human a burger flesh. or whatever, but and you just burger? eat like a little taste of the bun. You're not getting the no, full but, fucking no, thing. No, the baby true. soup is the, all the, there. The, the baby meat is clearly the flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, there's it's... not a real onion in there. I'm seeing like some <laughs> like celery leaves or something in there. Well, the Baba Yaga, she's for simple recipes, man. You don't want to overcomplicate a soup. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Eating clean with Baba Yaga. <laughs> this is just how her grandmother made it. It was passed down. But you're Grandma right. Grandma Baba Yaga. Steve, it is a half measure. It's a half you, you measure. You need to fucking just 
Go for it. And I agree with Hell. He's Hellboy, dude. He's, Why not? He's the, the fuck- kid's fucking dead. Are you gonna fucking bring it back to life, Hellboy? <laughs> Eat the fucking kid. Are we gonna get on your Amber Alert rant again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I will say we should point out the dude playing the physical part of Bobby Yaga is this guy Troy James, nicknamed Twisty, by the way. And I'll pull this up to show you guys. He was on America's Got Talent. One, don't be fucking terrified by the back of Howie Mandel's head. Okay. But take a look at this motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> oh, he <laughs> twisted it up, right? Yeah. yeah. He, so I he's was, like doing that shit. He's also in that scary story to tell in the dark. Did anybody see that? Is that yeah, one even half a damn? Not bad. Speaking of you know, it's he not just bad. produced it. Not bad. Just I was I was Chris curious Cabot. about that. Let me ask you this, Chris Cabot. Are they doing the one where the fucking girl's got the ribbon around her neck and her head falls off? I don't think so. Wasn't that a scary story to tell in the dark, Steve Sadak? I think so. Chris it's one of my fave Scare- horror tales. The are Scarecrow, the Mr. Jitters, or whatever. The big they, toe uh, guy is there. Yeah. Are they butt chugging in there? <laughs> yes, the butt chugger. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a scary thing that's going on with children. You the wear, dark especially. You wear... You will chug my butt. <laughs> yes, you will. Well, well th- that's, that's what like you happened. put a bottle in there, right? And you fucking load up your ass <laughs> with alcohol. I mean, it's a great way to marinate a kid. I will say, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, that's like kind of a, that, that'll keep him nice and moist for right, sure. For it's sure. like a, you remember, a beer chicken kind of a situation. <laughs> Everyone, Ooh, man, beer can chicken fucking rules, if, man. I'll tell you right now, <laughs> it does. Beer can but, kid. <laughs> okay, now if this is your first Where episode, you put that can man. If this is your first episode. We kind of have a little bit of a laugh. Here. Yeah, sure. None of us have All ever engaged is, in cannibalism. To no, my knowledge. or any Not kid stuffing. None of that <laughs> ever happens. Um, so the Bobby Yaga is like, hey, Hellboy, I'll tell you where this dark queen is because it's a fucking stupid witch movie for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait, I thought I was hunting Mexican vampires. Like, no, that was 20 minutes ago. Is Wait, about the giants? Nope, not 20 minutes no, ago. No, 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 no. Fairy? No, that was five minutes ago. Do we Hang get his past second. here? Hang yeah. on a second. I'm, we pass something with the Bobby Yaga that we have to talk oh, about. Please, please. I'm please. sorry to Bobby derail Yaga's. this. I mean, it's the best scene in the movie by a mile. Uh she makes a deal with Hellboy. Yes. Because I guess there was a previous adventure where the Hell, Hellboy, like, fucking knocked out one of her eyeballs. Sure, that'll, that'll happen. In the so, <laughs> sure, you know. So she's like, all right. First of all, she mentions her favorite color is piss yellow. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Great detail. Second detail, she says to him, it's all right, nice I'm going to tell you uh, where the Blood Queen currently is. Yes. Uh, but in return, I get one of your eyes. And he's like... All right, but let me just say, you can have it when I'm done with it, yeah. which means when I'm dead. Fuck you, witch lady. Well, this is they seal it with a kiss first. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So she's like, all right, let's make out. And yeah. he is fucking Hell tongue yeah. kissing this thing. Hell yeah. It's gnarly. Yeah, yeah. It's Nick gnarly. my milk tongue. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I mean, like Hellboy instantly has like a milk mustache. <laughs> and I mean, if that's the case, Hellboy, you might as well... I would now, gargle is, with kid soup afterwards well, yeah. to get the taste out. I was about to ask, out. is that cannibalism? <laughs> yeah, she, she soups it back in your mouth. That's, oh, dude. Yeah, that no, you you cannot <laughs> commit cannibalism due to, uh, no, uh, from can- snowballing. No <laughs> way. Oh, not, okay, it. let's just say backwash <laughs> Blood in general. Balling. Let's say Baba Yaga is like, blah, 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 with some fucking soup, right? Right. He spits yeah. it up in a Coke bottle, and then you drink it. Well, then that's sort of something. That's a whole nother level I of mean, something. You're probably at least getting a fingernail in there. Oh. A baby yeah, fingernail. You know what? Fucking dress. You got to fucking clean these bodies better, Baba Yaga. There shouldn't be a whole <laughs> yeah. fucking bone. There shouldn't be fingernails in there. You have to fillet oh, fingernail those fingernail in the soup. I know who's working today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we get a. F- I'm um, sorry, Baba Yaga. I got a fingernail. I got a Jeffrey Zakarian from Chop. I got a fingernail <laughs> in my uh, in my kid's soup. Um, it, was a, it was a wonderfully inventive. Use of the challenge, but uh, we're gonna have to chop you. <laughs> Great, Jeffrey's. Oh, I've been impressive. sitting on it, dude. <laughs> hey, man, good for you. I don't Dom. know who you're talking about. Damn this 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 child soup is raw. <laughs> Dom. The ingredients are all there, but where's the innocence dying that I look for? Baba in Yaga, my kid soup. Baba Yaga, we're gonna have to let you go, but. I want to let you know, if you want a job in any one of my kitchens, you are welcome to be there. Is he offering jobs left and right? Uh, he always is, and I always want the follow-up, because he's like, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, definitely that has never happened. Uh, so she says, by the way, the Blood Queen is in Pendle Hill. 
Yeah. And he he's like Riding yeah. up on Pendle Hill. Bum, oh, bum, nice. Bum, bum. Uh, That's a band I know. That is a band I know. It's one guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> and so he like he fucks her over and she's like, You will use those eyes to watch someone that out you die, a hell of a boy. <laughs> And then she like <laughs> then she's got all like these living warts and goiters oh, coming right, to yeah. fucking Ooh. work for her. Yeah. Coming up the hill. It's gnarly. Bobby Yaga, yeah, there's uh, this is an excellent uh <laughs> goiter sandwich. Uh again, the the bread was just a little bit dry, so we're gonna let you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it's all for Eric. I'm just I'm I doing... like it. I I man, look, look. I always Jeffrey Zakarian is always one of the funnest judges. Not in a real way, but <laughs> He's fun to watch you know, on that show. I've never worked with di- dehydrated eyeballs, <laughs> but I'm happy to, uh, you know, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, and I'm here for it. I'm here to win. Uh, around here, do we get the Hellboy backstory that he's a, he was, like, birthed from a demon fucking a Oh, this, no, this, com- this comes um, a little later. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. First, we have the fucking thing. <laughs> They go to this Pendle Hill area to find her. Mila Jovovich is like cutting a tree and making it bleed. Yeah. This is what, Kevin, this is what you were talking about. This is like all of the fucking creatures are kind of coming out of the woodwork. And like, they look yeah, like, yeah, she's back. And they look like shit. Every the last Emerald one of Toro's garbage can. <laughs> they all look like trash. It's awful. They all are really bad. And like the pig person is here again, like doing her bit, like doing like, a, oh, master, my he, queen. He's doing this thing because oh, she God. wants to fuck Hellboy. When she sees Hellboy, she's like, I'm going to yeah. fuck that dude. Because well, he's Hellboy. clearly huge Johnson. I guess yeah, well, it's I mean, part of the prophecy. She yeah. needs to wed a demon or something. But shit. his whole thing is like, oh, I told you all I want to do is kill that Hellboy. And it's like, <laughs> all right, whatever. And this is what there's a stupid zombie attack in the forest. Right. Oh. Out of nowhere, Hellboy. Hellboy has the line, can nothing in this country stay dead? Sure. Kind of something. Right, because apparently the giants come back from the dead. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, I was like, okay. So they're like fighting all these zombies, and then Daniel Day Kim is like, hey man, you gotta go find the Blood Queen, let us two nothing side (laughs) characters handle this nothing situation. Uh, Sasha Lane finds out that she can like punch people and their souls come out of their body. Not, uh, there's a lot of Sasha Lane, by the way, my least favorite psychic trope is I'm the psychic lady in the action movie. Oh no, my head is exploding. I have to scream. Oh no. Oh, All fucking right. every second character gets migraines and it's very let, annoying. Let me ask you, do you prefer spirit pukes? Oh, oh, those <sighs> things are disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, one happens. At, there's one point, it doesn't matter no. at all. They oh. go back to the Osiris Club. Everybody's dead. Right. So like she touches Sophie Okanado and it's like it's like Slimer's gross uncle that's made of feces <laughs> comes out of her mouth with a face of Soki Okanedo, and that's how like she's speaking f- for these people. This ain't your daddy's hell boy. You yeah. know what, man? You know what's great? A classic, your eyes roll back in yep, your head and sure, turn yep. totally white, and then you have the voice of that person. Cool. Or a fucking ghost. Yeah, or a I'm ghost. fine with a, a ghost. good old-fashioned ghost. Do they think I wouldn't buy a ghost <laughs> yes. after I've seen I Baba just... Yaga, Giants, and all this other shit? I just want her to like do that to like normal, everyday corpses. Like, yeah, I didn't have anybody uh, holding the ladder. <laughs> and whoopsie doodle, there I went. I got vomited out of this girl's mouth. That's pretty interesting. Well, the worst part about it, though, is when she uh, she cancels the call, you yeah. know, and the conversation's <laughs> over with, and the thing goes back in her mouth. There's a little, like, and yeah, then, yeah. like, the fucking, like, goo comes out of her mouth. It's yeah. disgusting. There's definitely a taste. You're getting yeah, a little taste after yeah, all. Yeah, it, it tastes like shit and death. By, by the way, this will figure in hugely to the emotional climax of this movie. Now, Dude, if I thought, I'm gargling up her <laughs> fucking... Man. If I'm tasting her ectoplasm, is that cannibalism? <laughs> yes, yes I is. think so. <laughs> well, that's kind of like if I uh, uh, got in like a hot tub, yeah. no chlorine, you know, just like a sure. hot water tub, nice. sat for a bit, and then you drank some of it. Oh. Is that cannibalism? Uh, you know what? No, you're right. It's not. <laughs> it's just really gross. That's, yeah, it's just gross. Every ghost puke definitely tastes different. <laughs> yes, for sure. I think it has to do with, like, what, you know, was that person a smoker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. What did they eat but right before they right. died? Yeah. How old were they? Ooh, ooh smoked puke. Mm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good smoke flavor under that. So Hellboy stops her here for a hot second. A hot like, second, yeah. There's, there's a portal dark. that opens. There's a portal. She goes through it. 
and uh, the, there's another witch who's not even a character because there's other two witches that get killed. She's like, "You betrayed me!" <laughs> and and like, this is supposed to be like her sister Ganada or yeah. something like that. Who betrayed her in the beginning of the movie, and you're asking me to care after I just saw a pig monster in a diaper. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Um, Hellboy shoots Mila Jovovich in the head, which is oh, that's great. what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they have this whole thing. She. Mila Jovovich contorts two of these witch sisters and says to Ganeda, you know, like, oh, you feel bad for me? Where were you when I was getting fucking cut up and put in boxes and, yeah. and whatnot? But then, so Hellboy shows up and she's like, ah, better beat it. So she opens a portal, which is the first time you see her do in this movie. Sure, and the right. fucking pig man and her bounce through this thing right before to that me in dimension x my pig <laughs> friend and a witch pretty much man shredder and fucking krang might as well be around um blood queen i came to bargain <laughs> step into this portal with me uh and right before she goes she's like by the way peace out alice and oh, she's that's got right. this like crown of thorns or something because she is a christ figure of course sure. it's true. and she like throws this thing like a spy Ugh. and hits alice like in the neck now, and she's if poisoned i'm eating the blood and the body <laughs> of christ yeah is that cannibalism every catholic is a cannibal yeah yes, yep. it's true catholic cannibals do that's another band you that's how lecter got started <laughs> <laughs> well first i was just a good old church boy oh see. the blood of christ delicious <laughs> uh so he goes to the this only person that could help. And I guess it's Alan man. Moore is my like, <laughs> sick Alan Moore cameo Dude, here. Dude, what are we... This, I think, is uh, Gleason's son. Oh, no, yeah. so, son of Brendan, I Isn't believe. Isn't it the nobody from the beginning? Yes, it was, it's, it's Merlin, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's Brendan Gleason's son because you can't throw well, a fucking this, rock in that Dom country Wait, without <laughs> hitting the spawn of Brendan Gleason. Wait a second, it's not Dom Hill, is it? It's no, not Dom Hill, no. There's, oh, a, there's, there's another. another one. There is another. <laughs> <laughs> there is another. Another Gleason. <laughs> I'm trying to find it here. I think he's towards the top. But yeah, so so this witch is like, by the way, man, there's one person yes. who might be able to help you out, and uh, you're going to get there in mm. 60 seconds. Yeah. Yes. It's Merlin, the wizard of yore. Yeah. Wonderful. Don't worry. There's a montage with that. <laughs> also, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say what everyone's thinking. It's Hellboy did Merlin dirty here, dude. <laughs> he did. This is some fucking bullshit. Confirmed. This is Brian Gleason, uh, born 1987. Mm. Well, I'm glad you were born. Look now at this though. There's, there's, Merlin there's, there's of four of these fuckers. I told you, yeah, you can't throw a rock without hitting the Gleason. Brian, well, Dunnell, Fergus, and, and Rory. Well, that's a <laughs> Gleason. Crazy. They get their fucking SAG card before their birth certificate. <laughs> Family. Oh, age. actually, I, I should say, excuse me sure. for our Irish listeners out there. I know we have them. According to IMDb <sighs> trivia, his name is pronounced Breen. Okay. Breen Gleason. No. Well, a Gleason uh, famously reproduces by puking up. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, get the fuck children. away from me! I'm going to give birth! <laughs> Just vomiting up their <laughs> children. <laughs> Brendan Gleason giving birth out of his mouth. Someone draw that. <laughs> I'll call it Brent. <laughs> you yeah. know, better than Hellboy 20. So, uh, Brendan Gleason, you uh, have 44 sons, huh? <laughs> You're 45. <laughs> Yeah, whatever noise he makes when he pukes is what he names him. John Hill! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes, I had twins after uh, uh, getting a, a, a stomach flu. <laughs> I mean, they go right to this fucking. It's by the way, it's where Luke Skywalker's uh, yeah hiding. Yeah, they find this thing. It's like just dig this motherfucker up, and yeah. I, there's no like, where on earth could this little grave be? Like we just walk right <sighs> to it. So, does this where Mer, does Merlin tell him his fucking story? Correct. He has he, yeah, he's uh, he's got a human mother. And in the year 1574, that oh, that's right. It's Arthur, Arthur's Arthur, Arthur had a daughter, 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 and then this one daughter, dude, she had a fucking fetish where she loved banging fucking <laughs> monsters and shit. <laughs> so she, it, the I believe the way Merlin tells it is this lady was you know kind of fancying this demon. Sure, he says that uh, uh, she rode him to the Sabbath every week. And then one day decided to marry this demon. Hey, I, I hiccup burped, and Chris is laughing. Well, I thought you were going to throw up yeah, during the story. I, well, you know what? Whatever I heard noise, a witness whatever, there. Whatever that noise was, that's what I'm going to name my child. Okay. So then, 
so then, like, she married this demon, mm-hmm. fucked this dude on their wedding night, of course. Of course, you know? yeah, he married. Uh, and Hellboy was born. Was he played by John Cassavetes? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> He was in a building. He was in a, a you know a working actor. Was doing some TV so he could finance some other projects. For that apartment, I would birth a <laughs> demon. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Nope. Are you fucking kidding me? Living in the Dakota, I'll have fucking twelve demon yeah. kids. Definitely. Don't ask me what the hay costs. Okay. Okay. And also, like, look, <laughs> I'm going to hell anyway. Like, to get into heaven sounds like, really difficult. Hell's easy as fuck. Hell's easy as fuck. Man. So I might as well be like a fucking you know. I might as well be mm. like. You know, pseudo royalty of hell. I might as well be right, Prince is, Harry of this hell. This is the famous <laughs> quote, right? It's better to rule in hell. I than totally serve agree with in that. heaven. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't that just come from the trailer to that David Duchovny movie <laughs> playing God? <laughs> wow, dude, you're taking me right back. Wow. He says like three times in that trailer. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh, I, I but, didn't know he got a movie. He's had he a got, couple of movies. Yeah, he's a couple. Him. Evolution, House of D. Yeah, I never checked into the House of D. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people did. Did he direct dude. that? I think he did. Yes, yeah. he did. You can uh, S the sad. house of D, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, they fuck didn't have to do a lot of work for the porn parody on that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a weird movie to turn into a porn parody. <laughs> um, so Merlin is like, Hellboy, so you're the son, you're the great great grandson of King Arthur. Who would have guessed it? Jesus Only you can man. lift off Excalibur and send the witch back to hell. Excalibur, which is right here. Come on I, down, Sword in the Stone. I want it to be like a Mamma Mia, and it's just a bunch of monsters. And <laughs> oh, she no, know which which one. <laughs> Frankenstein is by Colin Firth. <laughs> oh, nice. I like this idea. Yes. Wolfman is a Skarsgård. Yes. Uh, Pierce Bros is obviously Dracula. That Monster Mia. Ra, 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 ra. Rory, 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 You guys are just like saying what the monster should have done. Because how is a Frankenstein banging a what was she? A she, was a, she was a I think she was a, a vampire. Or was she a bride of Frankenstein? She's just uh, well, she. I think she. I don't know. So, but uh, long story short, yeah, on the monster kid. show, the Wolfman kid, which dude, is it's like monster is adoption, that? dude. You think so? Or of do you, course. You th- of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, Duh, dude. But I'm just saying. <laughs> now you you're, uh, you're you monsters. are going to need a room that locks from the outside with a chair that you can lock him down in <laughs> at midnight. You need to have that before we even start this process. What do you think the uh, the fish head budget was in the Munster household? Oh, oh it's expensive. Yeah. That's a monthly expense, huh? Mm-hmm. Feeding all those creeps in there. <laughs> And the gag though was that the daughter was just a person. Yeah, she's a regular girl. Right. Yeah, it was that funny. was funny. That was kind of funny. So yeah. they he grabs. Was that his... adoption? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or was that like we're all so our blood is so weird it just somehow worked? It was. She's a true miracle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he grabs his sword and he sees himself as the start of. And this is probably my one of the coolest looking scenes in the movie. Or the closest to. Yeah. It's just him and he's got these big horns. He's got a fucking crowd of fire. He's he's riding some beast. He it's, it's, slides the, down the like part of the Golden Gate Bridge. It yes. looks like well, he's got to be in the Flintstones that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's he, totally his yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Dude. He's flying a dirt dirt hawk Gleason, <laughs> and he's just like cutting people up. And then he realizes, pretty baller. He's like, oh no, I don't want to do that. So he lets go of the sword, and Merlin's like, no. He's like, I wasted my last bit of magic on you. Bam. I'm yeah. like, I don't give a fuck because you're Merlin and you have no business in this Hellboy movie, well, you piece of shit. At least I don't have to see the end of the world. Fuck you, bye. Yeah. <laughs> at least I'm not in the rest of this movie. <laughs> well, that's, I guess, part of the prophecy, though, is like Hellboy, is go- he's the one who's going to bring about the end yeah. of the world. But if Merlin comes out of whatever and offers me a sword, I'm taking the sword. Yeah. I don't care what happens. <laughs> happens oh and oh this sword just makes me stronger sounds pretty good right. to me but it's the only thing that can kill the blood queen and then eventually has to fucking take it anyway well it's your classic well, he, the, the you sword, could have cut 30 minutes out of this piece of shit the sword disappears <laughs> and it's your classic oh, no. in one of these stupid supernatural movies like well now she's invincible forever and it's like well uh, obviously until that's not 30 thing. minutes later exactly. when she gives you the fucking sword yeah so, also at this point all of these monsters are rising up in England and there's like a plague that 
that's happening. Yes, that's what's happening. It's a monster oh, yeah, mash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it truly it's is. Again, the Guillermo smash. del Toro rejects. Yes, they voted for Brexit, yep. and they could never get out of it, so all these monsters are rising from the grave. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're voting Tory. I got a couple of uh, names for these monsters. Oh, please. No. Uh, Jeff. Butt Crab. <laughs> right. Fire yeah, got, Ass. Oh, yep. I've been there. V- <laughs> vagina Giants. Well, <laughs> A, this is excellent, but B, we're going ahead. This is at the end of the movie. What well, actually? Let's just go to the. I end. know we're we're good. Yeah, we're good there. So yeah, These whatever. These are the monsters that are taking over England, aren't they? No, there's there's monsters before that start a plague, and then when Hellboy grabs the sword, oh, hell oh, opens up, and sure. a different fleet of monsters shows up. This is around the time though where we find out Pigman's like jacked up, and this is the big church fight. Yeah, because they go they go f- confront him, and he's like, Ah, oh, Hellboy, she gave me super powers. Mm. You, f- he calls him a twat, and I'm like, you know what, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me HGH just like Slash Stallone uses. I'm gonna star in the new Rambo. Hey, <laughs> Hellboy, you gonna be in Rambo? And funny enough, no one noticed the difference. <laughs> Audiences uh, are gonna Stall- flock to Pigbo. <laughs> uh, Last Blood starring Pigbo. <laughs> Man, Last Blood is terrible. I don't know if we're gonna do it for this month, but it is bad. It is bad news. I gotta check it out, man. I gotta see I it. I gotta do it. At the end, they do this whole, like, during the credits, it's just like... Rambo through time? Yep. Yeah, I knew it's it. It's like, oh, all through the ages. Dun, 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 Rambo. So it's like, here's the first movie yep. that had a really original message to send, and then the rest is just fucking do conservative they, trash. Do they show the scene where he crashes into the Sephora at Columbus Circle? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? The Cloverfield monster. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, I don't remember a Speaking lick of that movie. of Cloverfield monsters, there's plenty in this movie when yes. World War Hell starts. Yes, Vagina Giant does vagina come. Giant to- oh, that's does Vagina feel- Giant. Yes. I should have known. And then a bunch of Iron Maiden covers come yes, to life in do. the middle of the fight. There's this dude with a <laughs> sword for a hand that like yeah. cuts all these people in half. They do this extreme violence at the end. Yes, that, like, they some are dude- really going for it. Gets his face ripped, all the skin ripped off his head for some reason. There is, and here's the thing. So as Steve mentioned, because we were kind of like conflating these two incidents, there's a plague that's happening. And we see this television report that's like, by the way, y'all, this thing's spreading really fast. And soon as shit, it's going to be like off our little island and the world's going to be over with. So that's like already happening, right? So this... Sword is grabbed. Like Hellboy is now considering. They fight the pig monster. The pig monster gets turned into a little pig again. Yeah, she kills him because he's about to kill P- Hellboy, but she needs Hellboy more than uh, he, she needs him. Right. And Catman rises. Yes, yes Catman, Catman does rise. Happens. We have this fight. But so Ugh. when he grabs the sword, this is when all these huge monsters start coming out of the ground. There is a shot as we introduce these big monsters. There is a shot of this businessman. Yes, holding a briefcase, totally just businessish, <laughs> crossing the street. And he gets picked up by this thing and, like, ripped in half. And it's fucking horrible. Mm -hmm. But, like, hey, man, there's a plague on. Yeah. What are you doing? You know, This wouldn't happen. No, it would because Johnson gets in there. He repeals the health care. Now this guy's got to go to work all the time like an American. Oh, fuck. So even when the plague is on, dude, you got to be busting your cheeks at the office. (laughs) Exactly. Gotcha. Totally checks out. Remember when that dude walked into a freezer on television? (laughs) Yeah, I do remember that. (laughs) I don't, but I remember hearing about it. I fucking love it, man. It's like, oh, it was like right before. Was that on Thomas Ratchet's show? (laughs) It was. Thomas. It was like Good Morning Britain or whatever it is. And, uh, uh. Uh, they're like, oh, Mr. Johnson, one question for you, sir. He's like, oh, yes, uh, one minute. Just, yes, one minute. And he turns around and he fucking walks into a walk-in freezer. Were there he- fucking kids in there hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Baba Yaga's getting a fresh cut down. <laughs> and then, like, you just hear someone, like, the host of the show, like, over, you know, the inter- not intercom, but yeah, yeah. just like, uh, the voice on the television feed just goes, ah, uh, yep, and he's uh, walking into a freezer. It's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, so yeah, he's got he's grabbed this sword, Excalibur oh, itself. Right, we keep saying Excalibur because oh, no, she fucking makes him take it because she's like, you're gonna be my husband. This sword, you and me, they're gonna we're gonna kill everyone. Oh no, he turns her down, but she kills Ian McShane. Oh, thank right. God. And Ian McShane's last words are like, don't give it to this. Bitch, Hellboy. Yeah. Good night, movie. You do you, Hellboy. Adios, Hollywood. <laughs> just... Adios. I might be back in fifteen minutes. Yeah, totally. So he dies, and to get, kill her, he grabs the sword. He gets the big horns, the crown of the crown of fire, and this is when all this shit starts happening. And to save the day, Alice 
uh, resurrects the ghost, vomits up the ghost of Ian McShane. <sighs> this is and it's truly just, something. And the dialogue goes on and on and on and on. You want to fucking vomit <laughs> up a ghost, make it snappy, but it's exactly. just like, <laughs> oh, Hellboy, don't make a prophecy tell you what to do with your life. You got free will. All right, all right. And meanwhile, Mila Jovovich, who's the big bad, is sitting on her fucking hands. Just She's like, not doing anything. <laughs> like, you know what? I just, I want to hear what this ghost has to say. I'm gonna let this guy. What speak. the What the hell did I know about raising a kid? But I think I did a good enough <laughs> job. Huh? And he's like, he's like, Dad, you can't go. I don't think I'm ready. And he's like, Oh, you're ready, Hellboy. But, oh, but, are you ready? But before I go, remember to protect the continent. Oh, wrong movie. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Neil. Uh, can we go again here? You broke the rules of the hotel, Hellboy. <laughs> but also, this fucking dude, this like, go, she vomits him up. Whatever. He looks like. He's covered in cat shit. But like <laughs> yeah. the, also the, it's a weird like he's skinny and tall yeah. somehow. Yeah, it's, so weird. It's, it's his face and then it's just like <laughs> the cowboy from the Frighteners and his yes. fucking skeleton cage. And it's like he doesn't give a shit. Harbor's actually trying to play emotional to this yes, fucking he's, he's really he's, trying. He's, uh, the CGI he's working with. Remember like the bodies in the fucking uh, in Wishmaster in his little like yeah, mind yeah, house? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that yeah. except for she vomits it up. He's like, Dad, don't go. And he's like, uh, don't worry, kid. You'll be all right. Is that cut, Neil, or what? What's what's lunch looking like? Uh, wait a second. It's there you go, Hellboy. Yeah, there's my speech. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and he just, he puts the sword, he cuts her head off, and then... She's decapitated for the second time. And he throws movie. her head into hell. Which, uh, I mean... Well, he's got a really bad line. Oh, dude, and it's I've so liked bad. some of the one-liners, but this is awful. Well, he, he cuts her, he's like, he cuts her head off, and he's like, why don't you quit while you're... And he kind of thinks about it, he's like, uh, uh... Uh, head. I also thought that like it was so obvious he wasn't gonna do it. Like he was gonna cut yeah. her out. Like, why don't you quit while you're? Oh, I'm not gonna say it. Like that's what I thought the joke was gonna be. See, that's, I think that would be something. But I think the delivery is is kind of even worse here because the way I read it was like in his head he's like, well I'm Hellboy and I'm the guy with the one liners after I yeah. kill people or whatever. And he's like, ha. Ah. But I'm really tired, and my dad just died. And he's like begrudgingly yeah. making well, a one liner right here. He's like, Why don't you quit while you're ahead? Fuck it. I got to go take a nap. Because it never goes full Deadpool. It's just always teetering on the yes. edge there. Like he talks about how he knew Ra in hell and how he's oh, kind of he, nice guy. Yeah, the, him and Ra were partying at one point. There's also this line earlier on when he meets uh, King Arthur or he meets Merlin. He's like, Oh, do people still know about King Arthur? He's like, yep. yeah, it's actually a pretty uh, popular thing. It's a bunch of pop cultural movies. Yeah. And you lie. <laughs> you lie, Hellboy. I know. Hellboy, show me these movies you speak of. Are they really yeah. popular, Hellboy? Okay, now, Hellboy, really I'm like going to help you pass your final exam at San Dimas <laughs> High, <laughs> and then we'll get out of here. Dude, sick. I mean, you know, it is for reading in the seventh grade and then be on your way. That's I know I they already it. filmed it and it's not going to happen, but you know what they should have done in that Bill and Ted uh, Face the Music movie? Yeah. David Harbour as Rufus's son, Doofus. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, dude. Because he kind of looks like Carlin a little bit or enough where you right, can believe like it. Version. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like it's like George Carlin with the Bane serum. Exactly. You know what? Uh, you know I, I'm so excited for that movie coming out later this year. You know a thing that I I read about it that's pretty cool. I don't think that she's like a major character in it, but Kelly Carlin, oh, Carlin's wow. okay, daughter, appears in the movie as something, which I thought was pretty sweet. Doofus's wife, yeah. <laughs> Doofus, <dude. laughs> Mister and Mrs. Doofus. <laughs> she's Goofus, married to Doofus. There you go. <laughs> they released some like first look photos from it, dude, and there was a shot of Bill and Ted talking to death. I'm fucking excited for this movie. I have to say. Uh, also, we we should say this: the side thing that's happening here is Ben Damio. Yes. Uh, way earlier in the movie, has consulted with some technician that's like, "Hey, man, can I have a magic bullet to kill Hellboy if need be?" Which also is a great idea. This guy's a fucking walking hell demon that will bring about the apocalypse. Yeah, he's a ticking let's, time bomb. This guy's got guy the, guy the ground. Ball. But you didn't think about a puke McShane <laughs> crying. <laughs> you're, you're, to his son. You're 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 not only. Mankind's best hope, my boy, you're the only help. Uh, uh, hope or whatever. Yeah. Well, but you, so he's like, uh, during this whole negotiation and talking with the ghost and whatnot, 
uh, Ben Damio is like in the corner ready to take the shot. So after Hellboy like makes the right call and they're just sort of sitting there in the aftermath, like he takes the bullet out and throws the, no, the thing on the ground. No, take the shot anyway. And yeah. uh, Alice is like, what's that? And he's like, a mistake. Yeah. Oh my God, isn't that fucking I, But I agree with Cheetah Eric, man. Like, even still, like I don't trust this guy, man. Yeah. Yeah, We're better off without him. Still, That's people are boiling to death in their own <laughs> blood just to block away. And also, yeah, well, because of Hellboy, because of his indecision, those people don't come back from no, the dead. No, no, some guy got bone tomahawked out there. <laughs> he, he definitely <laughs> did, dude. Uh, so six months later, and the team is still riding strong. Uh, dude, uh, this is when we get kickstart my heart. You can just shut the flying and fuck this up. This is where it's like some other occult organization trying to do a wasm a fudge. The Secret this Order is, of, the Atla- of Atlantis. Is yeah, and this yeah. is where she, Sasha Lane is like, another one of these fucking dude clubs? Like, what is going yeah. on with you guys? And this is when you get... And I mean, like, this is the first of three stinger scenes because it's basically they're fighting all these people. It's fun for somebody. Yeah. Um, And at the end, it's like Abe Sapien, right. who's uh, Doug Jones and or Neil... Uh, David Hyde Pierce. David Hyde Pierce, depending yeah. on which movie you're watching. Uh. And it's like somebody's like, oh yeah, oh oh mm-hmm. yeah, because it's like whatever, whatever, like Erectus yeah. Sapien, or and like whatever. you know, it's, it's yeah. the Joker card at the end of sure, right. and also the begin. fin pops up yes, yes. on the thing, uh, very shape of water. We get credits then, right? Yeah. And then eventually we get the Baba Yaga scene. Well, yeah. no, the, but there, it's there's the, the scene in the middle is. Hellboy at the graveyard and oh, see, so t- I fast forwarded right to the end oh, of the credits. You guys missed wait, the wait, middle no, sting. I, Fucking three stingers in this movie. I played it through, but I probably went to take a leak. But please go on. <laughs> so in the in the middle, because this is what I stopped. Because you oh, told you told me there was a stinger. Yeah. I watched this. It was like stinger complete, ladies and gentlemen. And this has been a long night. <laughs> so it's Hellboy in the graveyard. He's drinking tequila at his dad's grave. Oh, He's like, I don't know if I could do this, Dad. Did <sighs> you see this, Chris? You. No. Really? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Solo stinger seer Steve Sadek. Come back. Mr. Lobster Johnson in the oh, graveyard. And he's like, you. I was definitely Hell, in the bathroom. He's like, Hellboy, you're needed in this world. They need a hero like you. Ba, 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 ba. What are you doing there, dude? Yeah. You're burying Rasputin. <laughs> and then, like, it's this whole scene where he's, he's like, yeah, you know, Hellboy, that's what needs to happen. You got to keep fighting. And he's like, man, Lobster Johnson, I'm your biggest fan. Hold and I'm a like, second. Ah! Lobster Johnson, is he old in this? I think, no, Lobster Johnson had the aging thing along with the rest wrong. of those dudes. Both of you are fucking what? wrong. You no? gotta watch these fucking movies sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it's either- Yes, world's biggest Hellboy yes. 2019 <laughs> fan. Tell me more. So he drinks all, he's like, yeah, man, I'm your biggest fan. He's like, all right, I gotta go. Stacy needs me. <laughs> and he walks through Hellboy, he's a ghost. <sighs> and the oh, last, fucking eat my ass. The last line David Harbour will ever say is Hellboy because this fucking thing bombed like shit yeah. was, huh, so that happened. And I'm no. like, no. dude, that encompasses this whole experience. <laughs> top to All right, bottom. Hellboy, bend over. <laughs> I'm eating your ass. My friend Paul is here no. to help. <laughs> no, he just takes it. Uh, he just takes him and does a McGruber. I told you I'm not eating any Hellboy ass. That's so funny, Steve, because the first time I watched this movie, I feel like I must have seen that because I remember when this was over with just today watching yeah. it. I was like, wasn't Lobster Johnson in more than that one scene? And there it is. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Neil, do I still get paid even if the movie does terribly? <laughs> Excellent. Oh, it's, it's it's scale, dude. <laughs> when is this coming? January? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lobster, did you uh, die in some heroic act? Yeah, actually, I was uh, executed after I branded a bunch of teenagers who were making fun of me. <laughs> In the Seven Eleven parking lot, <laughs> and uh, you know, I went up the river for it. One died from it. Uh, by the way, April twelfth, twenty nineteen, Steve. Wow. Oh wow, that's shocking. I know it's pretty it's late. Got in January year. Lit written all over it. Absolutely, dude. Uh, fuck, man. Oh, that is Hellboy twenty nineteen. Obviously, no one's recommending this movie. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's totally worthless. The first two movies. I think they're both really good. The second one is excellent. The first one's just okay. And yeah, I mean, like, it's like making 
to relaunch this right after those, not that they're like cultural touchstones or anything like that, but like <laughs> it's pretty they, recent. It felt maybe that maybe because I'm an old man. It's like making a Superman <laughs> movie in 19. If Superman one and two came out, they were really good. You didn't make a Superman three, and then in like 1986, you make a new Superman movie. People are like, what the fuck is that? You know this what I mean? Like, is 11 years after Golden Army. Yeah, Golden so Army is 08. A little while. Yeah, why after. not yeah. just make Hellboy three and put David Harbor in the role and continue that timeline? Exactly. Like, who cares? Exactly, dude. No, I, I, it would have been better for it. I also be don't hardcore. know who this. Movie, I don't know who this movie is for at all. Mm. At all, I have no idea. Who this movie yeah. is. Was you, there like fan the back, office. like people who were like, "Hey, I'm a fan of these comics, man," but this is garbage. I mean, again, I, I mean, like, prove me wrong, but I don't think the Hellboy is that big of a character in terms of like so selling. It's, it's a take where you can get situation. Exactly. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's way too long. It feels like five hours going on in this thing yes the other thing is i just don't i really hate the cutesy like joss whedon dialogue like when he when hellboy's talking about how he has to work through his feelings with his therapist oh yeah i'm like just sure please stop this now it's a bad joke <laughs> um but it, yeah it's horrible and i do i love the the guillermo ones uh and i think they work a lot because they're fun yes uh, this one's like <laughs> grim and overextended and so visually interesting Ugh. So that happened. <laughs> um, That's it. I'm going to defer it. to my colleagues. They said it all. I say skip it. This is uh, the Hellboy fucked me good one time. <laughs> not good. Yeah, I, there's not much more to be said here. I'm just looking it up, man. Get ready for him in Red Guardian later this year, as Red Guardian oh, right. later this year. Um, the only way you can be in a movie is if you're a comic book character. Also, it's like, it's <laughs> it's now becoming a, a kind of a played thing, because I believe there was some Jim Hopper jokes about this, too, like his whole, like, gut situation. Yeah. And Ooh. that's, like, all this... All, all you see of him in the Black Widow trailer is, like, gut jokes. Which well, is no, like, you, if you're a comedic it. actor, you need to get on fucking... You need to, like chisel yourself out of marble if you're anywhere but, near a marvel movie i mean david harbour doesn't he have like a dad bod and isn't everyone wanting to lick that shit up nowadays i think that was a thing that That's was over? cool for like six months Fuck. last year Fuck. i think it's already done dude sorry we, we missed that window all right <laughs> that is hellboy from 2019 directed by neil marshall if you would like more we hate movies of course check out our patreon patreon.com slash we hate movies where uh, later this month, probably pretty soon, actually, we'll yeah. be doing a full-length We Love Movies episode on Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, but worst of 2019 month continues uh, next week on the free feed here. Uh, so, Steve, what uh, what 2019 gem are we talking about next week? We are going back to American Mike's Backyard. Yes. It's Angel Has Fallen. Yes. And this combines, I mean, listener beware. Ooh. Gerard Butler impressions with Nick Nolte impressions. <laughs> I, he's playing the dad in this I movie. I feel like I haven't seen this movie yet, but I feel like it's going to be a recommend. I just feel <laughs> it. I can... Well, you had to make three fucking Fallen movies. <laughs> you had to black out last night and make three fucking Fallen movies, Wait, didn't you? that's what it is. Sideways has fallen. <laughs> It's they're on like a they're they're on like a booze cruise or something. And yeah, terrorists oh, booze take cruise, over. great idea. Terrorists take I'm over. I'm the president. Oh no, <laughs> booze canto. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking there for, for it. Man. Sure. It's speed two. Yep, mixed with sideways. Speed like two it. booze control. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so until next week, when Angel has fallen, I'm Andrew Jupin, Steven Sadak, Chris Cabin, Eric Siska. Take it easy. That was a headgum podcast. The Hellboy fucked me good one time. <laughs> good one time. 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 <laughs>